هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos anesti epne kron sanatun sanatun batisas keti sentidni masi zoif karisa menos. Mesiah sana min bayil amwat wa lati al maut bil maut wa ma al ayat al ladina fil kubur. Mesiah sana min bayil amwat wa lati al maut bil maut wa ma al ayat. Hello and welcome everybody. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your loved ones. Christ is risen and indeed, indeed he's risen. Guys, <clears throat> since we are all, maybe, I'm not sure what about you, but certainly about me, we are all in a lockdown. Uh, what is better than to celebrate the resurrection, the risen Lord, the King of Kings, on this very blessed day. Christ is risen and no Muslim, no atheist and no anti-Christ can do anything about it. So welcome everybody, God bless you. It's nice to have you on this very blessed day with us. And actually guys, <clears throat> my voice is gone. Uh, maybe you just came from Christian Prince's live show and uh, you heard me uh, talking to our dear brother in Christ, Christian Prince. Uh, I had a long conversation today with a Muslim. And I have actually no um, voice left. <laughs> this guy really uh, wanted uh, to talk to me in private. Uh, he didn't want to do it uh, in a public uh, place. So I was like, okay, you know, uh, no problem. So we had a long conversation, but in the end he uh, he left Islam. I'm not going to mention his name, you know, for privacy because that's what he wished. So we will respect that. So, you know, my day started really amazing. Uh, it was really an amazing uh, conversation, very respectful, uh, you know, and that's actually is proof that we don't hate Muslims. We actually love to have a lovely conversation with you Muslims, right? We're not here to fight you. We are not your enemies. Only and only the truth will prevail. And if God wants to use us to spread the truth and expose false teaching as we did today, and maybe we can open up some people's eyes so they can leave that satanic cult and hopefully accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, as his Lord and Savior. So, you know, it was a, it was a good day for me. It started as a good day for me. So let us pick it up from there, right? <laughs> so actually my voice is really uh, damaged. Maybe you are hearing a difference in my voice. I mean, if you talk for two hours straight, I need to drink, drink a lot, you know, but it will not help uh, basically hold us down or uh, maybe uh, God can do something about my uh, throat. It's itching, but we will, we will go from here. Guys, pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior. Thank you for your ultimate gift, Lord. Thank you for your grace and thank you that you saved us from death. And thank you for my lovely audience and subscribers who are always supporting us day in, day out. 
for the last year. Please bless them and bless their families, Lord, on this very holy day. Please, God, keep all of us healthy and safe, especially from the spread of this coronavirus. Jesus was truly risen, and we Christians believe that you are risen, Lord, and you are risen indeed. El Masih Qam, Haqqan Qam. You heard it on this song that we just played in the intro for the people who are just listening. Father, let me continue. Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on your on our own understanding, but if not everything, acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and action. Give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give into discouragement, taqiyah, mecker, lies, or any deception, Lord. Please help us honor you in all our ways. Lord, I pray to you and ask you to shine your light on all of us, including the Muslims, like the person this morning who whose eyes were opened for the truth, Lord, and he left Islam. Please, Lord, shine your light on people who are in need and are truly seeking for the truth, Lord, so they can also be saved like we are saved. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today so I can speak the truth without any error or any shame because we should not be ashamed about the truth, Lord. Lord, give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining in. On this live show, we will have the opportunity today to do another live Q&A. And what's best or what is better than to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ together? You know, maybe you can't go to your local church because of the lockdown. So we Christians, we family in Christ are the true church. It's not because uh, some concrete or wood, you know, it's all about the people. We are the church. We are the church of Christ. So if we have Muslims or maybe Christians, you are allowed to call us live. My Skype is open, but Muslims, to the Muslims, make sure that anything Muhammad said will be used against him in the court of law today. So I hope Allah is awakened from his sleep and he has, Muhammad has him as his personal lifeguard or attorney present during today's hearing to defend him in the court of law. My Skype ID, for the people who are listening, my Skype ID is Drop Christian. So if you want to call us guys, Muslim, Christian, I don't care what you are, you are allowed to call us live. My Skype is open, so feel free to call us. And during, while we wait for the calls to come in, we will also go through some scripture. So welcome everybody. Hope everybody is doing okay. Help, welcome Phil Herrera, our dear admin, African Christian, Phoebe Anymore, Elijah Rock, message, of truth, Fee Lee, CW, how are you, my friend? TM Crosspulse, Debit Rai, how are you, brother? Salam al Masih, <laughs> peace of Christ to you. Panos, Sarah, how are you? Everybody who just joined in, sorry if I did not mention your name. There are many of you. We have around 80 people watching, and the number is growing, so that's good. God is good. Please, Lord, bless this stream this live stream so it can be without any buffering do we have any callers at the moment do we have any callers maybe we have a caller let's see uh let's see okay i think i can call this person back let me call him back I just had a call omar pick up the phone omar hello your life on air, welcome. Hey, hello. Hello, welcome. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Can you please lower, uh, make your volume go up a little bit higher, please? Because we can hardly hear you. Okay. Can you do something about your volume, please? Or maybe come closer to the microphone. 
Can you hear me better now? Little bit better. Go ahead. Go ahead, my friend. Uh, wait, I, I'm gonna try. Uh, I... Please speak up, my friend. Please speak up and. Okay, wait a minute. I go. I, I gonna put something uh, in my earphones. Okay. Go ahead. I can hear you better now. Go ahead. Omar, what do you want to say, please? We have uh, maybe many callers, so please go ahead. Yeah, I'm uh, just wanna. Yeah, and I'm, I'm Omar, and I'm, uh, I want to ask, I want to call you for uh, because I'm ex-Muslim. I, you... I left Islam oh. two years ago. Oh wow, that's very good, my friend. I'm happy for you. What made yes, you leave? I'm... What made you leave Islam? Can you tell us about yourself? What made you leave Islam? Um, mute, yeah, mute I, YouTube, my friend. If you don't talk through YouTube, uh, YouTube, only talk through Skype, please. If you have YouTube open, close YouTube or mute okay. it. Is it better now? Yeah, it's uh, go ahead, my friend. Just don't speak through YouTube. Only speak through Skype itself. Go ahead. Okay, so you okay. left Islam. You left Islam. You said, "What made I you leave Islam? Islam?" Yeah. What made you leave That's, Islam? What's the reason? The reason is I was uh, I was searching for for because I read the Quran a lot of times, sixteen times, I think. Okay. Wow, sixteen uh, times. Yeah. Okay. Sixteen times. Yes. yes. I'm forty-two years old now, mm -hmm. and uh, I left Islam because uh, because it's many different because in the Quran it says, in Surah so Yunus says, "Go back to the to the." To the um, to the gospel, go back to the uh, the books they reading before you. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I know that. Uh, I, yeah. And uh, and yeah, I and, and then I start to to search uh, the the Bible. Yeah, you, I think you you're talking about the ayah where it says, if you are in doubt, Muhammad, go. Ask the people before you, right? Those are the yes, Jews and yes. the Christians. So exactly, okay. why would uh, Allah say to Muhammad, Muhammad, you are in doubt. And why would Muhammad be in doubt, right? So if you are in doubt, Muhammad, go to the Jews and the Christians and ask them. I mean, yeah. that proves actually, that proves that the Bible is not corrupted. It proves before, that, the, that Christianity is the truth, right? Yeah, before that I left Islam, yeah. before that I was searching. I was searching like uh, Osama Bagdo. I think you know him. Yeah, yeah, I know him. I know him. He's a brother of ours. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, yeah, I, I see a lot of. Uh, I know David Wood. I I, uh, I I see a lot of the these guys, uh, uh, Christian Prince. I, I see all the videos from uh, uh, all the videos that I that I that I have to to mind me and set me in my mind. I was searching for God. I was really searching for God, and wow. God yeah. showed Himself real. Mm -hmm. Not in my dream, not in my. I was walking and uh, and uh, with the with the bicycle, yeah. walking in the bush, and I was crying for for God and God. Wow. So Jesus came to me. Wow! Hallelujah! So Hallelujah! Jesus came to me and he said, "Like I am, I am your, I'm your God." Wow! And then and then I was searching for 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 uh, for the truth. And I was, uh, I was one day when I go to the library, yeah. and, and God's, there was a Bible on the table. Yeah. And, and I never read the Bible before, never. Yeah. And, and the Bible came and, and the truth came to me. Yeah. And then after then, some people, uh, some uh, Muslim friends, yeah. they, I, I told them about Jesus and they, they follow me, they follow me and they... And they also follow the the true. When I follow, they follow me also. Wow. You know? Yeah. And and what I have to say about Islam is, is I don't hate the Muslims. Yeah. But every time that that you have a, a, a discussion with the with the with the Quran and the Bible, they they they, they don't understand. Yeah. They have all the truth. You you are never. 
They say no, Islam, and then they go, they go another, and they, exactly. they take another book, and they take another verse, and they say yeah. what is the Bible, yeah. and they go also all, all the time. If you talk about the Quran, say in the Quran, but they go all the time to the Bible, and they, they take verses from there and verses from there. Yeah, they cherry pick, right? They cherry pick what they yeah, like and they throw what they don't like. Exactly. Yeah, but <laughs> you know, if yeah. I go live with Muslims because I'm from Belgium. Mm -hmm. I speak actually in Netherlands, it's Dutch actually, uh, yeah, it's another language. Yeah, don't say, they, please don't say where you're from, please, for privacy reasons, you never know, yeah, you know, not, yeah, just safe. make, you know, you keep, know to stay true. safe, right, I want you to stay safe, my friend, because yeah, you're an ex-Muslim, a Christian now, so just don't give any personal uh, information, please. Yeah, okay, no problem. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and I, I, what, I, I I'm, but I'm, what I'm interested in, my friend, uh, I'm really interested in what, what was the final, final reason or final decision? What made you really, really cut the rope and chose to leave Islam and accept Christianity? What was the final thing about Islam that made you, you know, leave? Because we are very interested always to hear uh, uh, from ex-Muslims what the real and final reason is for leaving Islam. Can you? Can you tell us about that, please? The final uh, is because if you do the, the you know, the Tahiyya, mm -hmm. Tahiyya to lay salawat, you know, the, the verse from, uh, from the Quran. Yes. Why? Why God? Why you sorry to, to Muhammad? Yes, Why chapter, chapter, yeah, to, chapter, let me, let me put what? it on the screen for the people so they can read with us. It's chapter 33, ayah 56. In Allah wa malaikatu yusalluna ala nabi, right? So how yes. how can Allah pray? You see, this is a sincere Muslim. He used to be a sincere practicing Muslim, the gentleman that you are listening to. And he's he is as a Muslim, he's asking, why? Why would Allah pray, right? In Allah wa malaikatu yusalluna, right? Ala nabi. So Allah and the angels are praying on the Prophet. So what what yeah. Is, Exactly. Yeah, you know, and, and the, the reason, the, the, the reason why yeah. I, I see the the difference about Jesus because in the Quran say Jesus is the is the Messiah. Exactly. And and why why if Jesus completes all all, all, all the miracles, why have God sent another prophet six hundred thirty years later? Because Jesus already done. All the things in, in his life, in his journey in, in the Bible, in the New Testament, exactly. Jesus did all all the things that God given to him. He was the only one we have no sin in his life. He amen, was the only amen, one, like, amen. Muhammad, was, Muhammad was a sinner, right? Muhammad was a Muhammad sinner. Was a Moses sinner. was a sinner. Because King David was a sinner, except our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He why, was sinless. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Why? Why the hadith, why the, the Quran say nothing about go to the hadith? They say it's not uh, a verse in the Quran that say you have to go to the hadith. Because, yes. no, because uh, some people tell, uh, some Muslims say, yes, it's it's say there, but Allah never say in the Quran, go to the hadith. Yeah. Obey, uh, obey Muhammad and obey Allah, right? You have to obey yeah. Muhammad first and then obey Allah. This proves actually that Muhammad is the real uh, God of Islam. And you know, uh, I had a blessing today. You know, I, this is really an amazing day for me, my friend. You know why? Before you just called like two hours, around three hours ago, I had a two hour long conversation on Skype with a Muslim. Right, he was a Muslim when he called me, and he left as an ex-Muslim after two hours. So, and now you're calling. You know, uh, my day, my day. You know, it's it's one of the best days that I ever had. Glory to God! On this very blessed day, we have two ex-Muslims who left Islam. So that's wonderful. Do you want to share anything else, my friend, with our audience who are listening? Yeah, I want to share something really important things about about uh, about my life because my life. It's yes. not it's not the same anymore. Because yeah. the love the love and the glory from God. Yeah, you're a new person basically, right? After you accepted the heart, Christ, the you heart became a new is not the yeah. same. Exactly. The heart is not the same. Exactly. And I, I wanna have some good uh, if you read the Bible, not about uh, not read the Bible like, like you read the uh, some Quran, or something. Yeah. 
You have to yeah. read it in yeah. context. Yeah. The, the whole the whole Bible is basically uh, a complete story from the book of Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. It's one complete story, right? Yes, yeah. and exactly. if you're an honest person, yes. if you're really honest heart and you can get to heart, exactly. really, and you ask the, the real God, the God going to give it to you. The God going to say, here I am, you know, and then you can, and then, this is also for, for a lot of reasons that I not understand that that all the discussion that you that you do with Muslims, yes, they are they, they going they turn around like like uh, you know they, they go uh, from from a verse and then they jump into yeah, the other yeah, verse. Yeah, they do a lot of tap dancing. Exactly, the tap dancing you do also in the Bible because I yes. have a lot of discussion yes. with the. I know, brother, I know, I'm doing this for at least 15 years. I know exactly what you're saying. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. This is only Long Island. What do you mean, Long Island? You say, I don't know. Long Island means I don't know. Yeah, God knows. What God knows? Brother, brother, if I if I can just say something. We have a Muslim in the chat. His name is Sheikh A.G. Sheikh A.G. He's calling me, he's calling me a kelb, which in Arabic means a dog. This is the lovely and peaceful uh, Muslims who, who always come to our live chat. Instead of, you know, sharing or maybe have a conversation with us, only thing they do is name calling, insulting us, calling us dogs. Is that what, yeah. you, uh, is that what your prophet told you to, to call us, uh, Mr. Sheikh? Well, it is what it is. Those are the Muslims, right? They can't behave. Right. They have to use the language of their... Fake and, prophet. And I gonna tell, yeah. I gonna tell you something. If yeah. I read, uh, if I leave, uh, then I leave the Islam. I, I put a video two mm -hmm. years ago on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I have a lot of trade. A lot of trade, my brother. A lot, lot, lot. Yeah. Hate. Yeah, hate. hate. A lot of hate. Exactly. You they hate us. Yeah. They wanna do everything yeah. to me. They wanna. I know, bro. Say, yeah, I'm gonna find yeah. you on the street. You gonna see. Yeah. Uh, you know. You know what mortad means. Everybody know that what mortad means. If you yes. uh, if you leave Islam, you have to kill. Yeah. You have to pay You're an apostate. Yeah. You're an apostate. Yeah. Mortad. Of course. Yeah. And, and that, yeah. that's the reason. And they say, no, we are not like that. This. I don't. I don't believe that. You know, because I have. I have also. Uh, Kids and, and uh, wife, you know. For me, is it not not uh, like why? Because yeah. if Christian, if one Christian leave leave uh, Christianity, yeah. he pray for this guy. Yes, exactly. We don't we hate him. We don't, we don't curse him, don't right? Him. But pray, when a Muslim leaves Islam, back. immediately they are going to call you. You're a fake Muslim. You were never a yeah, Muslim. Uh, this and that. You know, that's Islam. Yeah. Islam hates. Islam does not. Uh, does have no. Even Allah has no love in his heart. You know, Allah Himself doesn't love. He needs to be no. loved. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and we are not the. We are not the. We are not slaves of God. Amen. We are, you know, God created us out of love. We are not just slaves. We are created out of love, right? And God wanted to share His infinite love with us. But in Islam, Allah, who is nothing but a master, a puppet master, and you are nothing but a puppet in His hand. Allah created on Muslims only for Him to be worshipped. He didn't uh, want to uh, do anything else. Allah only created to be worshipped. He created to be worshipped. That's it. That's the only connection Muslims have with Allah. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, and you know, if you do uh, the dialogue, the dialogue uh, between uh, Muslims, they mm -hmm. always do the, the same. They, they have a tactic. Yeah. And, and they, they, you know, the proof is there. Yeah. You don't have need to prove this. Yeah, the Bible is uh, false. Mm -hmm. Bring me the, bring me the uh, one verse in the in the Quran, let us say that the Bible is corrupted. Yeah, there is no, there is no, there is no single ayah in the Quran that there clearly no says. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, I challenge any people. imam, my friend. We have challenged many imams for the last fifteen years that I'm doing this. Show us just one ayah, one ayah from the Quran where it says that the Torah or the Injil are corrupted. They cannot show us. Why? They cannot show us. Yeah. Why? And, and th there is also one of the manuscript from the Quran, yeah. the, the real ma manuscript. There, there, there is so many reasons that you that you don't understand, and and, and the reason is that uh, that many people leave Islam because people leave Islam never. Uh, they have no. Uh, yeah. they, can, they don't can speak. They don't can speak mm. because they are scared for his life. 
look to Pakistan in, uh, everywhere in in uh, in, uh, in the Arabic uh, places. Mm -hmm. You don't can say I'm a Christian. You don't can say I live. I'm ex-Muslim. You don't can say that. You yeah. kill you or they put you in prison. Yeah. You know how many in Pakistan they are in prison? Yes, I know, bro. I know. You know. I know. That's what Islam and does to people. Yeah. And why? Why? Yeah. Because you know the, the, the guy, the desert, the you, you have your own life. Yeah. The, the, you, you have the sides what you want to do. Yeah. And, and the, the reason that I have to say that because I know 100% sure yeah. I'm actually, I, I'm, if Christ come live in me because I received the Holy Spirit, yeah. and uh, if Christ came uh, inside me, mm -hmm. never, also mm -hmm. never, I told my brother. Yeah, never gonna leave Christ because the real Christian never leaves Christ. Yeah, because the Holy Spirit don't let you to go to another religion or yeah. another believer. Because yeah. I'm Christian, I'm happy, and I, I, I'm, and now I feel God's power. I feel God. Uh, every I feel everything uh, that God uh, speak to me and. and and yeah, speaking tongues like that, and the, the, your stomach is full of water. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 exactly. You, yeah, your your body is fire sometimes. Yeah, and you 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 pray hours. Yeah. You know that's God, and that you feel God inside you. That you feel the spirit from God inside you, my brother. Yeah. And I told you, really, really, I'm so I, I'm not uh, promoting Christianity, my brother. Yeah. I just say what my life came. What I'm coming from till now, the difference, 40 years Muslim yeah. to his Christianity, the difference between that, mm -hmm. that's, ask a Muslim, if a Muslim call, ask him, open your heart. And be honest to yourself. Yeah, and, and the truth, yourself. yeah, exactly, my friend. The truth, the truth is only for the people who are actually seeking the truth. You know, I know many Muslims, many Muslims who all their life, they only, only thing what they did was memorizing the Quran by heart, memorizing for barakah, 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 hadaya, hadaya, right? Only for blessing, blessing, right? That's, that's what they think. When you only memorize the Quran, you get many hadayas, many barakats, many blessings. But my friends, yeah. it's not all about memorizing, it's about knowing what you're memorizing, understanding what you're memorizing. And that's the problem with the majority of Muslims. They only memorize the Quran, but they don't know what they are memorizing. And you can confirm that, right? Yeah. Of yeah. course, yeah. Because I know, I know the, the the difference. Yeah. I know the difference about that. You know, that's what I say. Open your heart yeah. and and go for it. Go for the for the real truth. Yeah. And I'm happy that I'm, I sent you a message and you you, you, uh, you repeat to me and you say you're you're live on air yeah. uh, in. Uh, after no problem, hours. my friend. I appreciate it. This is a very blessed day. Thank you for your amazing call. And uh, stay safe, and hopefully yeah. many of your family members try to help them, right? As you uh, found the truth, also help them, help your loved ones to accept no, Jesus no, as... We're going to pray 30 days for the Muslims to come to Christ, I hope. Yeah. We do that every year in the, in the, uh, yeah. in the Ramadan. Yeah. We, we have Ramadan, we pray for them. All right, my friend. Jesus that's Jesus. wonderful that's wonderful jesus is risen my friend christ is risen indeed he's risen thank you for your amazing goal and god bless you thank you my brother no problem no problems bye, to the next one. bye 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 that was amazing two ex-muslims that i spoke to today i mean talking about how a day can start guys this is really amazing guys two ex-muslims on one day wow that's amazing um to be honest, uh, I saw Sister Kai. Kai, you are with me. Uh, Sister Kai from uh, Soko Films. You mentioned Chapter 2, Ayah 75. Well, Muslims love to go there and they all, already, all read all the way to Ayah 79, right? But nowhere, I challenge any Muslim to show me where it says that the Torah here is corrupted. It's actually talking about a group of Jews, right? If you start with 75, so all Muslims, do you wish for the Jews to accept faith in you as a group of them, a group of the Jews, who, to listen to the words of Allah and then have, having understood it, purposely change it? So a group of fake Jews, wannabe Jews, right? 
This is what it's talking about. It does not say that the Torah is corrupted. It's addressing those fake wannabe Jews, spiritually dead Jews, right? And if you continue reading all the way to 78, it says, So they think, you know, they think that they know the scripture. They think they know the Torah, but they are spiritually unlearned, spiritually dead, right? And it says, therefore, so about this group of Jews. Therefore, woe is to those who write the book with their hands. So those fake wannabe dead, spiritually dead Jews. Woe to you, oh fake wannabe dead Jews. Woe to you, right? Woe to you. You think you are writing the book with your hands and sell it for a small price. So it's not saying that the Torah is corrupted. It's talking about only a small group of Jews, right? Who write something and they make, make it sound like it's, it's the scripture, but it's not. It's not saying that all the Torahs have been corrupted. No, you Muslims, you need to read the Quran in context and understand what the ayahs is talking about. So shame on you for saying that the Torah is corrupted or the Injil is corrupted while the Quran never ever provides an ayat to make that claim. So how dare you? How dare you to call Allah a liar when we can find in the Quran that no one can change the words of Allah, right? Are you calling Muhammad who even swore on the Torah when he said, I believe in thee, what? The Torah and the one who sent thee. So your prophet actually believed in the Torah and he believed that it was uncorrupted. So how dare you? Guys, <clears throat> since we are celebrating the resurrection of Jesus, Jesus is risen and indeed he's risen. If we go to 1 Corinthians 15, chapter 15, 1 to 7, we can read the following. Read with me, guys. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you that the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received and wherein ye stand, by which also you are saved, if we keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that we, he was buried, that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Caiaphas, then of the twelve, after that, he was seen of above 500 brethren. So 500 people saw with their own eyes Jesus being resurrected again. Jesus stood there in front of 500 people, eyewitnesses who saw Jesus with their own eyes being alive again, resurrected again. And then suddenly, 600 years later, one man somewhere in a desert called Mecca says, Oh, Jesus did not die. Yeah, right. Should we believe 500 people or you, Muhammad? <laughs> without any proof, without any evidence. Should we believe the 500? Or should we believe you? Of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that, he was seen of James. So Jesus was also seen by James than of all the apostles. Do you see it? So Muslims, it's an historical fact that Jesus died and resurrected, right? We have many historical accounts, even outside sources like Josephus, like Tacitus, who is speaking of Christians, followers of Christ, and the death of Jesus on the cross. But should we believe those people who lived in the time of Jesus, who saw Jesus, or should we believe a desert Arab who, did, who, who lived miles and thousands of miles away, right, from Jerusalem? somewhere in a dead desert, hot, small area, somewhere called Mecca, 600 years later. Muhammad never seen Jesus. He never spoke to Jesus, but claimed that Jesus did not die. <laughs> Even the Quran, if you go to the Quran, guys, and you see chapter 19, Surat Maryam, chapter 19, ayah 15, this is talking about John, who? John the Baptist, right? Yahya, they call him Yahya. John the Baptist, it says, and peace upon him the day he was born. Who? John the Baptist, and peace upon him the day he was born, and the day he 
will taste death and the day he will be raised alive. Now compare this with Ayah, same chapter, right? Chapter 19, do you see it? Compared with chapter 19, but now Ayah 33. Now this one is talking about Jesus. Compared with one another. And peace be on me, the day was born. The day I was born, and the day die, and the day I shall be raised up alive. So here Jesus confirming his birth, his death on the cross, and his resurrection on the third day. Even the Quran confirms the death of Jesus and his resurrection. Now when Muslims say, this, no, no, this is talking about the future, you liars. This is the same ayah basically. This is talking about John. Right? Same John, and peace upon him who, John, the day he was born, and the day he will taste death, and the day he will be raised alive. Now compare it with the ayah that is talking about Jesus. And peace be on me. Who, who on me? On Jesus. On me. The day I was born, and the day I die, and the day I shall be raised alive again. Do you see it? Do you see it? But Muslims love to tell you, no, no, Jesus did not die on the cross. Jesus did not die on the cross, brother. But your Quran is saying that. Why are you lying? Are you calling Allah a liar, Muslims? Do we have any? Uh, do we have any Muslim caller, guys? Do we have Muslims who wants to call? Let me see if uh, if I if I can have a <clears throat> Muslim caller. Okay, I think we have a caller, guys. Let me pick up the phone of this guy. I hope he will pick up Malik. Malik Hafiz, I'm calling you. Hmm. Malik isn't online. Okay, well, that's bad. Let me try to call this guy. Who is this guy? Slave of Allah underscore 34. Hello? Yeah, hello. You're live on air. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Go ahead. All right, so let me see. Hold on. I'm going to YouTube. Please mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Okay. And only talk through Skype, please. Go ahead. Okay. First of all, the verse you're talking about, which you uh, don't know what you're talking about, Rob. Oh, okay. First Explain all, to it me, please. Talk please. About, it doesn't which talk verse? About which verse? He's going to be raised up on the when he, when he dies on the cross. This talks about raised up on Yom Okay. So stop lying. To, stop okay. Lying can to you compare it? Can you compare it with 1915? And please tell me the difference between 1915 that is talking about John. This one that you John, see on the yeah, screen. because he's going to die. He raised up on Yom Kippur. You don't know the the concept of the verse. So stop lying. It says, "And peace upon him the day he was born, and the day he will taste death. He's already dead." Right? If we ask Muslims, is, this is, at the time is Yahya of, dead? Yahya, yes, Yahya is dead. And the day he'll be raised. Uh, right? This so he, he, he is dead. He's this. dead. Is Yahya dead? Go ahead. Is, the, is Yahya yeah, dead? Yeah, he died. When he okay. Up on is Je is, is yes, Jesus yes. dead? Is Jesus dead? Did Jesus die? Did Jesus when die? When he comes back, when he comes back in the no, second No, 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 compare. Com no, 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 wait, wait, wait. When he comes back in the this, It's the same, basically the same ayah. Look, 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 again, so answer die, my question. Is John dead? Is John dead? Yes, John died. Okay, down. compare this ayah with ayah 1933. It says, and peace be upon me. Now, when we ask Muslim, who is this? You're going to say, it's Isa, right? It's Jesus. It says, and peace be upon me. The day I was born, and the day I die, and the day I shall be raised alive again. It's basically the same ayah. So why is John dead in 1915? Why is he okay. here dead? But why is Jesus not dead? It, I just, um, can What's I explain the it to you? What's, can the I explain di it to you? What's the difference? Yes, can go I ahead. Can, go I, ahead. can I explain it? Go ahead. Can I explain it? Can you stop talking over me and let me explain it? Explain. Go ahead. We believe, as Muslims, we believe that Isa ibn Maryam, he's going to come back in the second coming to kill the Antichrist. And when he comes back, he's going to live a normal life and he's going to die in that time. Okay, can you, can, you show me, can, you, can you show me that? Oh, see. Can, where, now, does, now, where does the ayah says that? Answer, Rob, 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 where? I answered your question. Now let's go to your Bible now. No, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 I'm not running away, I'm not running away, I asked you to show me the difference, show me the difference between this ayah, show me the, listen, listen, Abdul, listen, 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 motorboat, listen, I asked you, you're Abdul, you're Abdul, okay, get lost, I asked you a simple question, 
Show me the difference between IA 1915 and IA 1933. What's the difference? It's the same. I asked you, is John dead? You said yes, this is John. You said yes, you confirmed that John is dead. What's the difference between IA 19 and 33? 1915 and IA 33. It says the same. On peace be upon the day I was born, and peace up on me up the day that I die, and the day that I will be raised up alive again. No, no, it doesn't say that, Rob. And he wanted uh, to tap dance and go to the Bible. Listen, we will go to the Bible, but explain to me what the difference is. But we Muslims, we believe that that... Abdul, show me the difference. I cannot show you, brother. So uh, let me change the topic. Let me go to the Bible. Uh, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. What's the difference? No answer. Certified donkey, exactly. Certified donkey. Right? Certified donkey. Do we have any Muslim? Do you have any Muslim who can answer this question? Don't waste my time. I, uh, I am asking you a question. What's the difference between this ayah and that the ayah? And you want to jump. You're jumping all around the place. You are tap dancing. And you cannot even answer my question. I think we have a different Muslim. Let's see. Hello, Harun. Welcome. Your life. Now. Please mute YouTube. Mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Yes. Yeah, hello? Yes. Are you going to stay on your topic or are you going to run away from your topic? Okay. Mr. Ultimate Daddy, it's you, right? Ultimate Daddy uh, Fart, it's you, right? Okay. Okay. Can you, tell yes. us, can you tell us why you are a follower of Rashad Khalifa? Go ahead. Uh, now you're going to run away from your topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get lost. Ultimate Idiot. He's too ashamed to tell us why he is a follower of Rashad Khalifa. Now you're gonna run away. Yeah, I'm so scared, brother. You see, I'm trembling in fear from you Muslims. Right? I'm trembling in fear. At least I'm not ashamed to say that I'm a follower of Christ. But you ultimate daddy, that you, you call yourself ultimate daddy, but you're nothing but ultimate fart. Right? You're the ultimate shirk. You are a follower of Rashad Khalifa who was killed by the Sunni Muslims in the 90s because he proclaimed to be another messenger after Muhammad. Another messenger after Muhammad in the 90s. He was killed inside the mosque, stabbed to death by Sunnis, and you are a follower of him. But you are too afraid, you are too scared, you are a coward to say, yes, I'm a follower of Rashad Khalifa. You coward! Yeah, Jaban ibn Jaban, shame on you. Coward. Coward. Let's see if we have more callers, guys. At least someone who... Let's see, let me call this dear sister of mine back. She called us Vanessa. Vanessa, I'm calling you, sister. Vanessa, if you uh, hear me, please call me back. I tried to call you. I had no success in that. Do we have anyone who is not scared to have a discussion? Discussion without doing tap dancing. I want a sincere Muslim who is not afraid to have a discussion and talk about this very topic, right? Talk about the topic. Where we can find in the Quran where it says that Jesus did not die in crystal clear words. Where does it say in the Quran that Jesus did not die? I challenge you Muslims. Where does it say that? Only thing that we can see is, for example, chapter 3, Surah Ali Amran. Guys, focus with me. Take your pens out. Take your, take your pens out. Take your paper out and start taking notes. This is a very, very important ayah, guys. Chapter 3, ayah 55. Do you see it, guys? Are you with me? Give me one. 
Please give me one if you are with me, guys. My voice is gone, I know. I've been talking for many hours today with Muslims. Take a snapshot, take a screenshot, and read with me. Recall what time Allah said, O oh Isa. So Allah said, O oh Isa. Allah is the one speaking, right? It's not Rob Christian. Allah is the one saying, Allah said, O oh Isa. Who Muslims claim that is Jesus. It's not Jesus, but anyway, let it go, Christians, let it go. O oh Isa, verily I shall make thee die. What, 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 what? Allah, what did you say? If قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ uh, Verily, I shall what? Make thee die. You Muslims. You Muslims. Muslims. Hello. Allah is saying that he's the one who killed Jesus. Let me call our sister Vanessa back. She just called me again. Vanessa, I'm going to call you, okay? Do you see it, guys? It's in front of me. Hello? Hello, Vanessa. Welcome. You're live on air, sister. Welcome. Hello, Brother Rob. Hey, Jesus uh, is the reason for this season. Amen. Jesus is risen indeed. Qam. Yes. Haqqan qam. It, haqqan qam. That's what we say in Arabic. Haqqan qam. He truly oh. is risen. Haqqan qam. Right. Welcome. Perfect. Yeah. That's uh, lovely for him dying for us. Yeah. Taking our mm -hmm. sin on himself yeah the one who knew no, no sin the only son of god yeah amen amen go ahead sister i i'm listening go ahead oh i think i lost the call mm. i lost the call let me try to call her back we lost the call guys sorry Mm, Vanessa isn't online. She's not online, it says. Can you call me back again, sister? Can you call me back again? Maybe it's your connection, I'm not sure. Mm. Vanessa isn't online. Why it's saying? Why is it saying that? She's online. Sister, can you try to call me back, please? All right, let's see. Hi, sis. Hi, Vanessa. We lost you. Are you there? I yes, lost, I'm, the, I'm here. I lost brother. you for some reason. Go ahead, sister. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yes. You remember the time God told Abraham, yes. take your son, your only son, and uh, to the mountain where I will tell you and sacrifice him there. And Abraham in faith moved. Yeah. Abraham moved in faith. And even Isaac asked him on their way to the mountain, Father, we have everything. Where is the uh, uh, animal for the sacrifice? Abraham said God would provide. Yes. My, my own child asked me, why would God do that? Why would God try try him like that? Yeah. Now, what God um, gave us answer is, it is to show you the love I have for you. That knife that Abraham uh, took in readiness to sacrifice his son with, yeah. God took that knife, kept it, uh, until Jesus came to this world, went on the cross for us, yeah. and died as a vicarious sacrifice. The vicarious sacrifice is someone that had no sin, no fault of his own, yeah. but dying for another's fault. Sister, just Jesus. a second. Muslims, uh, for the, sorry for interrupting you, sister. There are Muslims yes. who are calling me while, while I'm middle in the call. Don't you understand when I'm calling, I cannot receive two calls at the same time? Abduls, is that your only tactic to, to, to dis, disrupt uh, a call? See, I lost, I lost it, our dear sister because of this. Call me back, sister. Call me back. They, you know, Muslims. You don't, you don't learn. You don't learn, right? You don't learn. Vanessa, can you call me back, please? I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. 
No, connection, bad connection. Okay, I, I hear you, sister. Go ahead. I hear. I think you have a really bad call today. Maybe you can do it through landline or something, you know, through... Ah, uh, you see. The only Bible... Sister, sister. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, I think you have a really I'm... bad connection today. For some reason, are you yes. doing it through Wi-Fi? Try to do it without Wi-Fi. If you can, from a computer next time, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, Without go ahead. Yeah, okay, okay, go ahead. Yes. So, that um, uh, Jesus dying, why would Jesus, why would uh, uh, God send his only begotten son? And um, that begotten, begotten is actually in one Bible uh, uh, translation, which is King James Version. It's not in the other Bible translations. Mm -hmm. So, the begotten, I, I, I'm sure the Muslims, since I know Muslims always are ready, I mean, to attack when any of you go online, mm. the begotten, I'm sure, and I hope he's listening, is the spoken word of God. Yeah. The spoken word that became flesh. No Amen. other person Amen. was spoken and became flesh and dwelt among us. Even in according to the Quran, right? Even the Quran calls exactly. Jesus Kalimat Allah, the eternal word of Allah, right? Exactly. Yes. So, it's spoken word of God is not Adam. Adam mm -hmm. was not spoken. Amen. Even according to their Quran, Muhammad was not called that. Was Moses was not yes. called that. Only and only yes. Jesus was called Kalimat Allah, the word of yes. Allah. God, the word of God. He in the beginning was the word, and the word was God. So, Muslims, you have to deal with the fact that you cannot deny that Jesus is the word of Allah, the word of God. Muhammad stole it from John one one, and he put it in the Quran, right? And he didn't understand what he was putting in the Quran. Exactly. He didn't know what he was Otherwise, copying. Otherwise, yeah. the Muslims will not be asking me mm -hmm. um, what begotten. Why uh, only one Bible version, King James, says begotten, the others do not say begotten. Exactly. And the answer is in your Quran. And uh, uh, you guys don't understand what it means. Even Muhammad doesn't understand what it means. The other guy that called you before, the Islamist guy that was really angry at you and said yeah. how you lie and this and yeah, that. Exactly. I asked him, show me what the difference is between chapter 19, right? It's on the screen, yeah. chapter 19, 15, that is talking about John. It's basically the same ayah. When I asked him, is John dead, right? He says, yes. So what's the difference between it? Why is Jesus not dead? And why is John dead, according to the ayah? It's the same setup, same ayah. One is about John, 15. Do you see it? It's about John. He is dead. So when we ask Muslim, is John dead? Yes, John the Baptist is dead. So oh. if we go to the ayah 1933, couple ayahs later, right? It's the same oh. ayah. Now it's this time it's talking about Jesus. Suddenly, Jesus is not dead, but John is dead. Well, it's the same ayah, same concept. It says, in both eyes, peace be upon us, right? Or on, upon me, the day I was born, and the day I die, and the day I shall be raised up alive. Same goes for about John, and peace is upon him. Who? John. The day he was born, and the day he will taste death, and the day he will be raised alive again. Right? And even chapter 3, ayah 55, Allah from his own mouth saying, O Isa, verily I shall make thee die. So Allah confirming that Jesus died, right? And that he will be lifted to him, to, to Allah. So here Jesus did die. Do you see it? It's in front of you. And Allah, after he died on the cross, lifted him up, right? Oh, and and purify, yes. purify thee from those who disbelieve. So you are actually a disbeliever if you don't believe that Jesus died. Inni mutawafika, right? Allah is saying, I am causing you to die. Bam! You but Muslims, anyways, you liars, yeah. shame on you for lying. You, you know, brother, all those uh, garbage in the Quran, yeah. I don't believe it's referring to my Jesus anyways. We are just using the Quran to go on the level of the Islamists so that they will understand yeah. and come to Jesus. Because, But everything there is not talking about my Jesus. It's not talking. Allah is not the God of Jesus. Allah is not my God. Allah is, is uh, Satan wanting to receive worship. 
So all those things, I do not believe any of them. But it's just to make Muslims see that they are following a cult that will eventually lead them to hell. In love. We are doing this in love. And they will attack you, of course. Yeah. Like the guy that called you a uh, dog, yeah. forgetting that the, yeah. uh, the family, the, the surname of his uh, prophet means dogs. Yeah. It, Ibn Kilab, always... yeah. Qasim Ibn Kilab, exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> they everything always... they say, you know, the funny thing is, they, dear sister Vanessa, everything Muslims say, it will be used against the prophet in the court of law. And I started with this, right? I started my, the, my live show today with these words. Everything Muhammad said, everything you Muslims say will be used against your prophet in the court of law. You call us dogs, your prophet was called Qasim ibn Kilab, Qasim the son of dogs. So when you call us dogs, it goes back to your prophet. Deal with it. And, and even his wife. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Zainab uh, bin Tajahsha. Muhammad stole, Muhammad stole the wife of his son, adopted son Zaid, right? When he saw her half naked, he said, Subhan muqallib al Glory to Allah who turns hearts. Subhan muqallib al Muhammad said when he fell with the naked body of his adopted son's wife, his own daughter-in-law. You call yourself a prophet, but you don't have any shame. You have no shame flirting with the wife of your own son. Shame on you. And you call yourself a prophet. And, they, and, they, and that woman yeah, and her name is... Uh, yeah, Zainab bin Tijash. Yeah, Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. Bin Tijash, exactly. Wow. Wow. So, you know, you will do everything. Wow. I pray that God continually protects you and uh, the rest of the warriors. Mm. Because no matter what you say, like my experience, let me say this experience quickly before I... Mm. I actually, I called you for another thing. I'm forgetting, going around now. <laughs> I called you for another thing, but let me just finish this one thought. Go, go ahead, sister. Sorry, I go ahead. You. Yeah. Um, the, you know, Islamists, when they write me online, mm -hmm. they for, they, you will know they copy. They go to one yeah. Islamic website, yeah. copy all the Bible passages, <laughs> yeah. and say why it's wrong and why it's, uh, why it's not... Uh, uh, yeah. why it's corrupted and everything. Yeah. And I would write, it's actually very frustrating always to write, yeah. but then I would write and sometimes they have nothing more to say. Another one would just stay and copy all the, when he has nothing more to copy, yeah. the last uh, thing is always show me where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. And <laughs> yeah. I told you this during the last time I called you, but I just want you to tell you this, my new experience, because I really discovered that yeah. it doesn't help. No. no matter how many Bible passages you quote. Yeah. I quoted uh, uh, John chapter 17. Yeah. God, I got frustrated. Yeah. Even Jesus saying, I'm, I am my God. Well, you know, the thing is, Vanessa, sister, dear, dear yeah. sister Vanessa, the problem yeah. with Muslims is when they read the Quran, one, yeah. one ayah, just one ayah has a context, just one. But they yeah. think, they think that the Bible works the same. They don't know that the whole Bible in, it, in its entirety, the whole Holy Bible from the book of Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation, that it's one complete story. When you want to learn something, you want to read a verse, you have to read the chapter. You have to understand what the chapter is saying. You cannot, from the Bible, you cannot just Take one verse, cherry pick a verse out of context and say, look, 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 look. That's what, look what Jesus is saying. No, read the chapter, understand what the chapter is about. This is not the Quran that you're reading. It's a different book. It's a different system. And it's it not your Quran, the it's the Bible, right? It means the Bible interprets itself. Yeah. We don't course. need thousands of, uh, of tafsir. Hadith, and, uh, uh, it, tafsir, yeah, exactly. Need, yeah. The Bible interprets itself. Exactly. Now, I, what, uh, the, the, the way God really worked in this situation is what I want to actually s tell you, and I hope Christians are also listening. Yeah. The, God, the way God intervened is, yeah. I realized no matter how many Bible passages I quote, it yeah. doesn't help. No, but the, you're talking the to a brick wall, right? This is what I always <laughs> say to our dear brothers and sisters in Christ. As long as you're talking to a very evil son of satan a muslim yeah. who actually yeah. is not caring about the truth there is no need 
Trust me, been there, done that for 15 years. There is no need to quote Bible verses to a Muslim while that Muslim is actually cherry picking the Bible as he pleases. It's not working. Yeah. You want to debate a Muslim to yeah. see if he's sincere? Start with the Quran first. If he yeah. is going to tap dance, you already know this guy. There's no need to, to, to preach the gospel. With exactly. him. And, and Muslim is, is different sad. kind of breed, right? You have to break yeah. that wall around him, that Quranic yeah. wall around him. Then yes, exactly. when you're done, when you're done, then you can preach about the gospel. There's exactly. no need. There's no need because he's he's going to misquote. He's going to cherry pick the Bible. Yes, exactly. This you're is how God, you're this time. is how God, brother, this is how God gave the victory because this guy would always write me back. I'm still waiting. Yeah. I don't want you preaching to me. Yeah. I want you to write in one sentence. Where does Jesus say, I am God, worship me? And you see, this is how God helped me out. Yeah. I then asked, I then started listening, listing um, uh, miracles of Jesus. Yeah. Right? I said, Jesus, uh, for example, I, I, I can't tell you what for what, what I wrote, but I'll just give you an, uh, a picture of what I wrote. I yeah. said, Jesus healed uh, the blind, gave the blind back his sight. Yes. But Allah said, I am God, worship me. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus uh, raised uh, the dead. Yeah. Back to life. But Allah said, I am God, worship me. <laughs> and then I listed, I listed it like that. Yeah. I said, you know what? Where I come from, yeah. we say the um uh someone with low moral value yeah. is the one that insists on standing on his integrity. Exactly. Yeah. Now, if Allah is God, worship, and Jesus does all these miracles, mm. who is God? Even if Allah says, I'm God, worship me. Where are the miracles to back it up? Where are the wonders and signs and teachings to back it up? Exactly. By the way, didn't you say Allah doesn't have a spirit? From what I know. Yeah. Allah has no somebody... spirit. In Islam, sister, Allah has no spirit. He's physical, yes. but he's empty. He's hollow. He has no spirit. It's basically Allah is nothing but a statue, an idol. That's what I told him. I right? told him, I said, look. Imagine, you, you, how can how can a being has no spirit and be alive? Actually, yes, you're dead if you have no spirit. That's, that's what I said, brother. I said, look, you are walking because your, your spirit is there. As soon as your spirit uh, uh, comes out of your body, you yeah. become a dust. Exactly. So it, how can Allah talk? Um, God worship me if he has no spirit. Yeah. That, that idol, it's a dead idol, right? The same idol, the same Allah, who the pagans of Quraysh, who used to worship the same Allah, right? The same Allah. Yes. And they said, look guys, what the pagans of Quraysh, they are actually not real pagans, right? Listen why, listen why. The pagan Quraysh of Mecca, they used to say, لَبَّيْكَ اللَّهَ لَبَّيْكَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَكَ Right? What does that mean? So basically they are saying, you Allah, those, that's what the pagan Quraysh used to say, you Allah, you, we don't associate partners with you. So what does that mean? The Quraysh of Mecca, before Muhammad was born, they used to practice Tawheed. We don't associate any partners with you. You can go find it in the Seerah, right? The early biography of Muhammad. So Tawheed existed before Islam. Did you catch it, guys? So Muhammad stole that and implemented again. So Muhammad did not bring anything new. Tawheed is not a new concept. The pagan of Quraysh, they practiced Tawheed. They said, لَبَّيْكَ اللَّهَ لَبَّيْكَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَكْ Shirk, لَا شَرِيكَ لَكْ We don't associate any partners with you. But they had Allah al uzza wal manat right? The daughters of Allah. What did they do? They used to carry the prayers of the Quraysh pagans all the way to Allah. So they were nothing but intercessors. They could fly. They were garaniq. They were basically high cranes, bird idols. Cranes mm. are bird idols with those very tiny yeah. long legs, right? Uh, uh, small yeah. long legs. Yeah. So mm. they used to carry the prayers. It was basically a mail system from the Quraysh, the family of Muhammad, all the way to Allah, the supreme one idol. And they used to say, لَبَّيْكَ اللَّهَ لَبَّيْكَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَكَ We don't associate any partners with you. So, so guys, do you see the concept of Tawheed before Islam? Do you see it? Do you hear it? That's the proof.
The point is, if Allah has no spirit, yeah. where does he have the breath to say, I'm God, worship me? Mm -hmm. Someone who has no spirit is, is dead, right? Exactly. He doesn't talk. Of course. How can he say, I'm God, worship me then? <laughs> Exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. So if, and, and, and then I said, Very good point. did not say, I'm God, worship me. But you see, the people can think, they can see the miracles that authenticate Jesus as God. They can see the, the wonders and signs, and mm -hmm. it, they all authenticate Jesus as God. And that is why, even till today, yeah. we have three times more worshippers of Jesus. Exactly. Than than uh, the Islamists, even exactly. though the Islamists... Only today, sister, only today I spoke to already to, to two ex-Muslims. One of them, he left Islam during a very long call with me. I, I started calling him in the morning, right? He, he sent me a message. He said, please, Rob Christian, I want to talk to you. I said, no problem. Mm. So we started in the morning. I just had my breakfast. Imagine, I woke up, mm. I had my breakfast, and I saw a message on Skype. Very sincere message. Please, I want to talk with you. And I talked with him two hours. Actually, my voice is really gone, but no problem, right? It won't hold oh. us back. And we're still continuing. I'm still live here, right? So oh. the guy, after two hours, he said, right? I asked him, very sincere question. What do you think, my friend? Are you going to leave Islam right here, right now? He said, yes, I left Islam. And, I, I, you know, I don't want to mention his name. Right, because yeah, no. he asked me to do it in private. I spoke yeah. two hours, and finally, after two hours, after my voice was gone, he finally left Islam. I mean, what is the what is not better than that to start your day with a Muslim who leaves Islam? Praise God. Praise, praise to God. Hallelujah. Huge celebration in the kingdom of God, right here, right now. Yes. Yeah. And you see, today and today is a memorable day. Yeah. Jesus rising, you know, from the dead. Mm -hmm. And rising into the life yeah. of of Allah's slave, ex Allah's slave, that became new in Christ. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, of course. So, Amen. Oh, we, of course. Praise God for that. Amen. So, I mean, it's it's. Uh, Chris, I hope Christians are listening. Yeah. It's not enough to say, um, "Show me." Well, Allah says, "I'm God. Worship me." Does Allah have a spirit? No. <laughs> simple question, simple answer. No, Allah has no spirit. Allah is not a spirit. God talk and yeah. talk is cheap. Yeah, of course. Where are your miracles? Exactly. Where are your signs and wonders as Jesus did? Well, no. according to Allah, according to Allah, this is one of the scientific miracles. According to Allah in chapter 16, let me show you a very important miracle, sister. Chapter 16, yeah, ayah 60, 69. Right? It says that honey, he is the miracle sister. Honey comes out of the bellies of bees. Here. Yeah. That's the scientific miracle, guys. Any person who went to school and took a biology class or a biology exam, do you really believe, Muslims, do you actually accept that Allah is lying, saying that bees from their bellies comes out of their bellies, honey? It's a lie. Muhammad is lying. This is not true. This has nothing to do with science. This is a lie. This is mistake 101 in the Quran. Yeah. And now... Guys, a small secret. Just a second, sister. A small yeah. secret. Bees, I challenge you to show me one bee that has honey inside her stomach. No. When bees want to produce honey, they go from flower, flower to flower. They collect nectar. They have nectar in their stomach. They go back to other bees, they vomit, keep vomiting, keep vomiting, mixing this nectar with an enzyme called uh, the bee enzyme, mixing, continue mixing, vomiting in each other's mouth. Yeah, I know it's disgusting, but that's how honey is being made. Finally, they go back to the hive, right? They drop this mixture of nectar and the enzyme. They start to dehydrate from 70% hydration all the way to 20%, it takes a long of time, a long time, till this very small mixture becomes honey, right? So then you have honey inside, the honey comes. There is no honey, as the Quran claims, inside any bee's bellies. When we ask, what is this drink, right? 
it's a healing for mankind so it is honey but Muhammad and the Allah of Muhammad are both ignorant and Allah claimed that bees have honey in their bellies which is a lie yeah it's a lie this is this ayah is proof crystal clear proof that the Quran of Allah Allah himself are nothing but scammers and deceivers leave Islam Muslims the proof is in front of you yeah you know another thing that they always say you worship three God ha 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 there is this one guy that always writes that. Yeah. You but you need to ask God. them. You need, you need to ask them. Who are the three gods? Are those Allah, Isa, and Mary? According to chapter 5, Isaiah 116. Or is it the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Which one? I didn't even go over that far. Yeah, Allah, Allah has no what idea about the Trinity, right? Allah has no yes. idea about the Trinity. Exactly. What I did is I, I compared Allah with, with uh, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I said, look. The Holy Spirit of God, just like you have the Spirit in you, yeah. but you are not holy. That means you are a sinful, mortal man. You yeah. will die one day. But Holy Spirit of God means God does not have any sin. He is holy. That means he is immortal. Exactly. He can never die. Exactly. Now compare the Holy Spirit of God, because God says, let us make man in our own image. Yes. You are three in one. You have the body, you have the spirit, you have the soul. Exactly. So. When your spirit leaves your body, you become a dead man. But mm -hmm. the spirit of God doesn't leave him. Wait, sister, are you saying are you saying that Allah is dead? Allah is dead. He's, they claim that he doesn't have a spirit, right? Yeah, yeah. that means he's dead. <laughs> so how can a dead dog, uh, a dead yeah. God talk? Yeah. Um, God worship me. Exactly. Who is talking? Exactly. Thank you, sister, okay. for calling. You know, we have a lot of calls. You know, I want to give other people also a chance. It's always a blessing, sister, to have you yes. on Skype. Thank you so much for calling. Make sure to always keep brother, us calling. Brother, I, I love to talk with you, sister. Thank you. Brother, brother, brother. Yes. Before you go, yes. the guy that, why I called actually, the guy that called you before and said you were lying, yeah. reminds me, I was going to ask you, yeah. if you uh, watched the, um, well, debate, I would say, between Dr. Brown, Michael Brown, and that that scammer, that yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nadia, yeah. Nadia, Nadia Ahmed. Ah, that, says, that guy, Nadir Ahmed, you know about Nadir Ahmed, we used to spank him every day on Park Talk. He, we, he got spanked over and over and over this Nadir Ahmad. He's, I think he's a Pakistani, Christian prince, including myself. He used to come to our rooms. Sister, you have no idea how many times you've spanked this Abdul. And he's oh, not yeah. an Arabic speaker. Oh. He's not an... I watched them all, brother. Oh, you watched I'm them? Okay. Them. Cool, cool. One of them, yeah. in pal talk with uh, one old clip like that with uh, Christian yeah. prince, yeah. that he was attacking our God. He yeah. said, our God is a terrorist and this and that <laughs> and everything. Wow. And then he went uh, uh, live with uh, Dr. Brown yeah. and was saying, yeah, we worship the same God. And he was praying to, he was praying to Yahweh, right? Yeah. That's a scam from the, you know, Anyways, let me let you go. Yeah. I know you. it's a, your live show. I'll just leave you. Thank, Thank you. God, uh, Thank God you. bless. Thank you. I appreciate it, sister. And God Thank bless you for your sister. amazing call. Thank you. God bless you too. You're Christ welcome. is risen, sister. Christ is risen and Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. Like oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Thank you. Bye-bye. Um, Amelia O. Lime, thank you for your donation. God bless you, sister. Let me read the super chat for you guys. Almighty God does not need slaves. Satan doesn't does don't be slaves of Satan be a child of God God Almighty loves his children amen Jesus Christ is the King of Kings Lord of Lords amen to that don't be a slave Satan chains exactly God is our Heavenly Father God didn't create us to be slaves and only slaves he created us out of his love he wanted to share his love with us this is why he created us he didn't create us like Allah, like the Muslims who have only one connection with their Allah. Allah is the master and they are the slaves. That's it. That's it. Thank God I'm not a Muslim. Thank God. Thank you for opening my eyes day in, day out that I'm your one of your children. Like my family who are listening right here, listening to, to our calls, who are sitting in the chat. And people also are not talking in the chat. Thank you, Lord. 
bless our audience who are a child of yours. We know you love us. This is why you sent your only living unique son so we can be saved. So he can save us. We cannot save ourselves. We need Jesus. I need Jesus. You Muslims need Jesus. Christ is risen. Indeed, he's risen. This is a really blessed day, guys. I'm really happy to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus with you. You're my family. We don't need uh, a building to have a church together. We are the church. We don't need bricks. We don't need wood. This is the church. We are the church of Christ. No lockdown can hold us back. No lockdown. Someone is saying, preach! Yes, preach, brother! <laughs> let, me, let me read another super chat for you guys. Again, Amelia, thank you for your donation, sister. Jesus is alive. Muhammad Allah is dead, rotting in the grave and in hell. Exactly. Thank you for your support through donations, guys. God bless you. God bless your loved ones. Do we have any other callers? Guys, uh, let me try to take a Muslim call. Let me try to take a Muslim call. Hanif, Hanif, who's this guy? Hello? 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 Speaking from Kif, Hira, Hira, Iqra. Oh, wait, guys. Your connection is too weak. Hmm. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Why are you running, Rob Christian? Is that Daddy Ultimate? Ulti Daddy Ultimate Shirk, are you a follower of Rashad Khalifa? Yes or no? I'm a follower of God. I don't. Get lost. Coward? <laughs> you see? Coward, you son of a coward. You see, guys, he is too ashamed to say I'm a follower of Rashad Khalifa. Oh, wow. You coward. Again, you ultimate shirk. You are a coward. 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 This is why Christian Prince keeps blocking this guy. I understand why Christian Prince keeps blocking this guy this guy is a waste of time truly he's not even a real muslim guys he is a follower of rashad khalifa right rashad khalifa his master was stepped into his chest inside a mosque in the 90s by sunni muslims so when muslims when you go to mecca mr uh, rashad khalifa boy ultimate daddy if you go to mecca and they find out that you are a rashad khalifa boy they will lock you up and they will ask you to repent. They will give you three days. If you don't repent, they will stab you like they stabbed your master, Rashad Khalifa, in the 90s. The number 19 prophet. Exactly, Babylon 13. Exactly. That's the one who came with the number 19. And who claimed that the Quran is talking about him. Yes, the same Rashad Khalifa. He claims that one of the Quranic ayahs is talking about him. Can you imagine? And this guy is a follower, he rejects hadith, he rejects any tafsir, he has his own version of Islam. Waste of time. Waste of time, Mr. Ultimate Shirk. Uh, let me call Simon. Simon call me, let me call him back. Hey, how you doing, my man? Hey, Simon, how are you? Welcome. You're live on air, uh, brother. Oh, it's live, that's good, that's good. Uh, how you doing, my man? I'm good, my friend, welcome. Your life on air. Go ahead. That's good. So, um, I mean, you, you're doing great work. I don't need to add that. Welcome, so I have a question. I, I have a question for you. Yes. Um, so the game is rigged against us, right? We are in a field that, you know, Muslims just have to cry wolf. Exactly. And, uh, well, you know, not... oh. I mean, Christian Prince, he has two channels for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. The first channel is basically an attack. Exactly. So he has to have a second, like, cha uh, yeah, second channel. Well, he has, so, he has multiple. He has multiple. Than, uh, yeah, yeah. And, I mean, if you go back to the, to, yeah. yeah. So how do we operate in this field that we keep losing our counts? Yeah. Well, the thing is, our uh, our audience uh, and uh, you know the people who are watching, guys, guys. Yeah. Make sure 
people who are listening, and uh, Simon is, is a dear brother in Christ, guys. Make sure to always subscribe. Always keep supporting us. Guy, the, you know, the funny thing is, Simon, I wasn't, uh, I didn't do a live show for at least a week, right? Because I'm right. busy, you know, I'm, I'm about to become a father. And, you know, Christians oh, sometimes... Brother. Yeah. God bless you. You're going to be a great father, brother, my man. Thank you, my friend. I and you're going to raise a soldier of Christ. Amen. No doubt about it. I, I will try, man. I will try. <laughs> Glory to God. You know, God is yeah. good. So uh, I, I didn't come online for five days and I immediately saw, you know, sometimes right. Christians, I don't know what sometimes go to through their minds, but I yeah. lost a couple of subscribers. They thought that I stopped doing my ministry for some reason i lost a yeah. couple of pet patreons also i'm like guys really I, I i am away for five days and i'm losing uh subscribers i'm losing yeah. pa patreon patreons guys come on you know we are we have a life uh yes i'm in full ministry for the people who do not know i'm doing yeah. a full ministry i you know i need your support guys please yeah. have faith in us yes sometimes we, we can be busy for a week but that does not mean that we stop doing what we do. You know, we have a life, but please keep supporting us. Keep us in your prayers. Don't lose faith in us, right? Because not many people are doing what we do. You can count them on your fingers, right? You have Christian Prince who is doing same same kind of what I do, right? So how many people are doing what we do? Let's be real, Simon, right? Not many. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, First of all, there are different categories of us, right? Some mm -hmm. are strategists, some are crusaders, mm -hmm. and some people are like, you know... Political correct. Or, yeah. yeah, or yeah. some are like gathering the people and they are taking care of the people and the, the, the new sheep because it, it's not our sheep, right? Mm -hmm. Christ said that, you know, take care of my sheep. Yeah. So it's not your sheep. So the, the people that go to church, it's not your people. You know, it's his people. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, we, we just have to remember that, 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 that the reason why we do this is yeah. to organize for the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Uh, but at times, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. At yeah. times, the game is rigged against us. And, like, it's it's very difficult to handle this, you know. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I guess my question to you would be, how do you handle censorship? Um, to be honest, uh, from my experience, you know, Simon, I'm doing this for 15 years now, you know, and I'm really not wow. trying, yeah, I'm not, wow. I'm really, I'm tr trying to be political correct here. Maybe it's longer, you know, sometimes I say 14, sometimes I really, I, I lost same, count. Same. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. we basically, my friend, basically we, we, we were the ones who started this, right? We had Zakaria Putros, you had a couple of uh, Arabic right. speaking Christians on Paul Talk, you had Christian Prince. I I had my own room, room, right? So we were the ones who started all this many years ago, right? Many years ago. But, you know, we have struggled. We had many, you, you know, even even me, you know, sometimes I, I come really uh, tough, right? Because, yeah. because I'm from the Middle East, I've been living between those evil sons of Satan's, you know. <laughs> they, they, they persecuted my family for many years. We are the yeah. original Christians from the Middle East. You have right. no idea how many times they destroyed our churches. We have been struggling for centuries with these Muslims, right? For a long time. They destroyed our monasteries. They destroyed our churches. But we are still alive and we are still you know, strong in our faith. You know, sometimes there are times, you know, that I'm telling myself, Rob, why are you doing this? You know, what Bro, are you gaining? But I'm having but, the same thing. You know, I'm telling yeah. the Christians, call me when the crusades on, I'll be yeah, there. Yeah. I'm going to go to do other things. Just call me when the crusade is there, I'll be there. You know, Many times I've done this, this, this conversation yeah. with myself. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, we need to keep praying. We need to ask for forgiveness and guidance from God. And, you know, we, we will try to continue what we do, even if it takes our private time. Guys, I mean, I'm, I'm you know, this is my private time. You know, I'm going to right. become a father. So, guys, keep always, guys, please, in the name of our Lord and Savior, keep supporting us. Keep sharing our videos and always make sure to subscribe to all the warriors if you see a warrior, even if he has only 50 subscribers, support him. Don't think, oh, you know, he's small. No, support. If you see right. someone who is making content, maybe this guy lost his YouTube channel because of many Muslims who are attacking. Make sure to rebuild his YouTube channel. Uh, you know, maybe if Simon loses his YouTube channel, help him out again. Right? I, I mean, 
I don't, don't care about my YouTube channel. Yeah, this, yeah. this is not about my channel. I know, I know, bro. I know, but my it, channel is. is yeah. uh, uh, first of all, I used to be on a platform called uh, Periscope. Do you know about um, that? Sorry, go come again. Periscope. Periscope is a yeah, 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 I, I, I channel heard of it. owned yeah. by a Muslim from Iran living mm. in Britain, mm -hmm. owned by Twitter. Yeah, uh, which Twitter is owned by a Saudi prince called. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. He was jailed like yeah. by the MBS. And I, you know how many channels I have uh, been deleted there? How many? Thirteen. Oh, but wow. every time I, I downloaded new uh, new uh, new channel, yeah. I always have a crew of people who share it. Mm -hmm. So I don't care about this. So yeah. you know. Yeah. But it's not about me. It's just that the game is rigged against us. Yeah, and sometimes, of course, you know. Sometimes, you know, yeah. it's, we, we lose heart yeah. and patience. But but please, everybody, uh, I'm going to wrap up right now. Please, everybody that's, that's, that's hearing this, just support Rob Christian. If it's a coffee you, a you, month, yeah. I mean, do it. I mean, he's giving his time. It's not just giving his time. It's also time for research. Yeah. Um, uh, Rob, do, do your thing. Uh, God Thank bless you. you. And let's speak in, in the future, right? God bless you. Thank you for your call, my friend. God bless you. For sure. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. God be with you. That was an amazing call, guys. Yes. Guys, like I say, keep our admins in your prayers. They are also putting their private time in this. Keep us in your prayers. Keep all the warriors who are doing the Lord's work in your prayers. I, guys, I am replaceable. You don't need me. But if it's God's plan to put up or set up a teachers like me then so be it right so be it yes it takes a lot of time to do research for many years to learn about islam maybe you don't know the language like david wood you don't know the arabic but you're still doing your best to expose this man-made cult islam and the man self-proclaimed prophet muhammad right so if god decided to make me a teacher and it was his plan, so be it. I will keep doing what I do until God takes me back. So if I'm away for two weeks, maybe one week or two weeks, that does not mean that does not mean that I'm that I'm stopping. Maybe I, I will be away or offline for one month. But guys, guys, don't be don't lose lose your faith in us, okay? We are, we are always trying. Yes, it's a struggle to have a personal life besides this and be on YouTube for many hours. I mean, how many hours did I put in my ministry today? I had a two hours phone call with a Muslim and finally he decided to leave Islam. Hallelujah. Now we are sitting here for one hour and almost 30 minutes. Do the count, guys. And I, what, what, I'm gain, what am I gaining? Except sharing the truth with people who are sincere, looking in a sincere way for the truth. I don't care about the Muslims who do not like to hear what we have to say. Stay away. We are here for the ones, that small percentage of Muslims who are open for a discussion, a respectful discussion. If you are respectful, I will treat you back with a respect. If you treat yourself like a donkey, I will treat you like a donkey right be respectful let us have a nice conversation no problem i can talk for a long time with you but if you are not going to answer my question that i'm asking you you start to tap dance i have no patience for you this is not the youtube channel that you're looking for just go no one is putting the sword of muhammad on your neck to stay we are not going to be political correct. We read the ayahs as they are, right? We just mentioned ayah 1915. We compare the ayah that is talking about John and we compare the ayah, ayah 33, that is talking about Jesus. So-called Isa. There is nothing called Jesus. It's Isa, right? Right? So it's the same. Same way it is talking about John the same way it's talking about Jesus why is John dead right this is 15 John is dead and why is Jesus not dead yet why are you Muslims adding your own words to the ayah where it doesn't say that this is going to be in the future no Jesus is talking as a baby right Jesus is talking as a baby from the cradle here and he's saying as a baby, listen guys, Muhammad stole this from the infancy gospel of Thomas. 
right? He put it here. And he is talking as a baby. Peace be upon me. Peace be upon me the day I was born. And the day I die. And the day I shall be raised up alive. So, Muslims, why is John dead in Ayah 15? And why is Jesus not dead in Ayah 33? But if we compare it, right? If we compare it with, let me go back, with Ayah 55 from chapter 3, it clearly say, recall what time Allah said. You see, Allah is the one speaking. Take notes, guys. Chapter 3, Ayah 55. O Isa, you see it? O Isa, verily I shall make thee die. And the words are, Ya Isa, O Isa, in the Arabic, Ya Isa, Inni mutawafika. I am causing you to die. The word is mutawafika. You see it? This is not my translation. Don't say, Rob Christian, you are translating the Quran. No, no. This is QuranWow.com. One of the best websites to go to when it comes of reciting and or reading the Quran. You can go there and you'll see. It clearly says, I, I, Allah is saying, shall make thee die. And I'm lift, lifting thee up to myself. Do you see it? So here, the death and raising up is confirmed. Do you see it? So here Jesus died on the cross and Allah lifted him up. Do you see it? And if we go, guys, if we go to chapter 4, do you see? This is the only ayah. This is the only ayah according to Islam. This is the only ayah that is addressing the death and crucifixion of Jesus on the cross. Watch. Guys, pay attention. Watch. Chapter 4, Surah An-Nisa, Ayah 157. And because they said, who? The Jews. Who? The Jews. The Jews said, we have killed the Messiah. Question. Can you show me one Jew who made this claim in the whole history of Jews? No, you can't. Because the Jews would not dare say, we killed the Messiah. How do you dare as a Jew? To say we kill the Messiah while you are still waiting for the Messiah to come. Give me one if you can still hear me. Can you get, can you still hear me, guys? Please refresh. Tell the people to refresh. Wanted Jesus dead, but no Jew would ever say we have killed the Messiah. No Jew. No Jew in the whole history of Jews. So this is lie number one. If we continue reading, it says. They who, the Jews, right? This is talk, talking about the Jews. This is addressing the Jews. Who? Not the Christians. The Jews. Again, guys, who? The Jews. Speaking from cave. Hira, hira. The Jews are being addressed here. Not the Christians. Okay, okay, guys? Are you with me, guys? Give me one if you're still with me. So this is addressing the Jews. Right? This is addressing the Jews. They, the Jews, did not slay him, they did not kill him. وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ Who? The Jews. وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ They did not kill him. وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ Nor did they crucify him. Who? The Jews. That's correct. So guys, in a nutshell, what do we understand from this ayah? That it's confirming that the Jews did not kill Jesus. We agree on that. Right? Yolande and Sergei, you have to, you have to refresh if you cannot hear me. Here it says it's good. Right? It's on your side if you cannot hear me. You have to refresh. So, here, it's not refuting, refuting the actual death and crucifixion of Jesus. No, no. Guys, give me one if you're still with me. Is there problems? Here it says there's no buffering. Let me know if you... Maybe it's on your side. I know. I don't know. Here it says it's okay, guys. Okay. Okay. We are back. Okay. So again, guys. Here, the crucifixion and death of Jesus Christ on the cross is not being refuted. The ayah is addressing they. Who? They. The Jews. They said. They again. They did not kill him, nor did they crucify the Jews. That's correct. Who? Put Jesus on the cross. The Romans. Do you see it, guys? Do you see the disaster that Muhammad created in this ayah? Do you see it? So, 
it actually is not attacking the death and Jesus being on the cross. No, no, no. It's only attacking the Jews, right? It, the Quran does not say, no, 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 the Romans did not kill Jesus on the cross. No, that's not true. It doesn't speak of the Romans. It's only addressing the, the Jews are saying, we killed the Messiah and they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. That's true. Guys, I have to agree here, right? Guys, did you catch what I said? If you didn't caught it, please don't hesitate. Give me a, a three. If you didn't caught it, give me the number three. I will again explain it. Did you caught it? Give me one if you caught it. Give me a three if you didn't. I will explain again. No problem, guys. Please don't, don't worry. I will explain. Christian Crusader, I... Why are you giving me a two? I didn't ask for a two. I you say basically, did you catch it? Christian Crusader, give me a three if you didn't caught it. I will explain it again, no problem. Again, the Jews are the ones talking, right? And because they said, who? The Jews, they said, we have killed the Messiah. Number one, as we explained before, Jews never ever claim that they killed the Messiah because they are still waiting for the Messiah. They handed Jesus to the Romans and who killed the Jesus on the cross? The Romans, right? They put needles in, in his uh, hands and feet, right? They crucified Jesus, right? So actually the Quran is not attacking the death and crucifixion of Jesus. No, no. The Quran is only attacking the Jews. The Jews, they did not slay him, nor did they crucify him, right? Yes, the Jews wanted Jesus dead. They wanted to kill him, but they did not kill him. The Jews did not kill him. The Romans put him on the cross because only the Romans had the authority. It was a Roman punishment system to put, to put people on the cross and crucify them, right? So here, actually, it's not attacking Christianity. Guys, learn from this. Take notes. This is the only ayah, guys, in the Quran. This is the only ayah that is talking about Jesus on the cross. Right? Yes, the Jews and, and K Soko films, our dear sister is saying, they didn't even call him a Messiah. Exactly. The Jews never called Jesus the Messiah, right? The ones who rejected him. They didn't accept him to be the Messiah. So how can Jews say, we have killed the Messiah? Here, Muhammad is lying. Where, guys, now here comes the final question. The one million dollar question. Where did Muhammad get this ayah from? Where did Muhammad get this ayah from? That's the question that we need to ask. Muhammad, guys, you remember the hadith, right? You remember the seerah. Muhammad married Khadija, right? Muhammad married Khadija, his first wife. And she was at the same time, not only his wife, she was his boss. She was the richest woman in Mecca, right? And he worked for Khadija, his wife, as a merchant. So he used to do, you know, dealing goods. And he was working for the richest women in Mecca. She was so rich, filthy rich. Can you compare? She was basically the Bill Gates of Mecca, right? Khadija was basically the Bill Gates of Mecca. So Muhammad, imagine Muhammad, he was working for a merchant, the head boss, right? And Muhammad had access to many books. And the books, the books, guys, that Muhammad had access to were, most of them were in Aramaic. But we know that Waraqa ibn Nawfal, the cousin of Khadija, Waraqa ibn Nawfal, Zayd ibn Thabit, who wrote the Uthmani Quran, they knew Aramaic, they could write and read Aramaic, and they were translating many books for Muhammad, including the Injil, right? Remember the Sahih Bukhari hadith? Where Waraqa is translating the Injil from Aramaic to Arabic for Muhammad. Guys, did you catch it? Are you still with me? So Muhammad had access to many books. 
Where did, here's, here's again, guys, here's the one million dollar question. Where did Muhammad get this information from? وَمَا قَتَلُهُ وَمَا صَلَبُهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ It appeared to them, but a lookalike was created for them. Where did he get it from? From the second treatise of the great seven. Aha! Rob, 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 Rob Christian. Are you saying that Muhammad stole this idea from a book before Muhammad? He stole it from a very known book that was in, 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 in Coptic language, right? It used to circle around, right? Around the Mediterranean Sea. This is very famous. It's an agnostic writing. Look it up, right? What this, this writing that used to circle around the Mediterranean Sea and Muhammad had access to it, it's, if we scroll down, we can see, scroll down, and you will understand what's, what is going to happen next. Look what it says. In addition, this is about this very document, right? It's an agnostic writing, right? From the 3rd century, late to 2nd century. It's written in Egypt. We don't know who the author is, right? It also reflects the Satian view of the mortal body. Jesus is once again presented, guys pay attention, in a docetic manner, sorry if I'm butchering English, his material body was only an illusion. Guys, this is, this is written in this very old writing, it's agnostic writing, that the material body was only an illusion. Does it ring a bell, guys? Does it ring a bell? If we continue reading, it says, this view of Jesus, also held by the Basilites saw Jesus as a purely spiritual being and required the crucifixion to be only an illusion. What? Required the crucifixion to be only an illusion. It may look or appear to them. Remember the ayah what it's saying? Walakin shubbiha lahum. It appeared to them, right? Do you see it? But it looked like it was created for them. Ah. Required the crucifixion to be an illusion. Did you catch it? Copy paste from this Gnostic writing, the great set. If it was to fit within the context of this theological view of Jesus. The second treatise of the great set, guys, pay attention. The second treatise of the great set suggested that it was Simon, the Cyrene, presumably, who stood in for Jesus and died on the cross instead. Ah, ha! Now I understand where Muhammad got it from. From this very famous Egyptian, the second treatise of the great set. Let me give you the link, guys. Study it carefully. All right? I think uh, maybe the admins already provided the link in the chat. I'm not really trying, at the moment, I'm not following the chat, guys, because I cannot teach and read the chat at the same time, okay? Bear with me. So, as you see, Muhammad stole this idea and he put it in chapter 4, I 157. We know about this writing. We heard of this writing before Muhammad became a so-called prophet. It used to circle around. These books were famous. They were in, in Aramaic or Coptic language, right? And we know Muhammad had access to these books. The screen is not clear. Why is it not clear? It's not big enough? Not clear, guys? How is it? I gave you the link. If you can't see it for some reason, you can open the link and you can find it and read it yourself. Someone is saying the screen is clear. So who stood in, <laughs> instead? Simon, the same guy who took the cross, right? Who carried the cross. He is the one, according to this agnostic writing, who died on the cross instead of Jesus. Do you see it? The Simon of Cyrene. Do you see it? So this is how Muhammad 
had access to, to this idea. He, this is how we can understand why was Muhammad accused over and over in the Quran by many people who were attacking him in the Quran, right? It's mentioned in the Quran, right? It's mentioned all over the Quran. You are stealer of stories. You are nothing but a mad poet, right? Are we going to leave our old faith for a mad poet? Asatir al awwalin right? The legend stories before you. You are nothing but, you are not telling us, us anything new. We heard of these stories before you. That's what they used to say to Muhammad. And you can find those ayahs in the Quran. All right. So now you have an idea how Muhammad fabricated this ayah. He actually took the ayah, right? He took the ayah, he gave it a twist. And now we understand where Muhammad got this idea from. From the treaties of the great Seth. Do we have colors, guys? Let's see if we can have other uh, Oh, Phil Herrera called me. Let me call Phil Herrera back. Our dear admin. Phil? Are you there, Phil? Phil, I'm calling you, my friend. I saw that you called me. Maybe, uh, let me call our dear sister Carrie back. Guys, I know I'm seeing a lot of missed calls, I know. But, you know, we have to deal with what we have, right guys? Sorry if I cannot take all the calls. Kai, dear sister Kai, I'm calling you, sister. I'm calling you back. Says Kai from Soka Films is unavailable. Hmm. Okay, she's calling me back. Hello, Sister Kai from Soka Films. Hello. Hi. You're live on air, Sister. Welcome. Ah, uh, thanks very much. Um, happy Easter. By the happy way, Easter. Really Christ is risen, you. Sister. Christ is risen. He is. The tomb is empty. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He is risen indeed. Amen. Go ahead, sister. Um, I don't know. I've been listening to quite a bit. I've been try like in and out of the chat and listening. But um, yeah, I've been through this thing of the um, the Jews uh, said they killed not the Messiah, nor did they crucify him. Yeah. Um, I hadn't ever really. I, I, it crossed my mind that obviously the Jews didn't crucify him even in real life. Yes, of course um, not. <laughs> Remember, but the I, Jews only used to stone people to death. They never crucified anyone in the in, entire history of Jews. So here, Muhammad was lying, right? Well, oh, how dare you say so? <laughs> <laughs> well, we do. Me? We That's do there. We do this every week, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's known for being so honest in everything else, though. I just, oh, <laughs> yeah. He's, he's the best of example to follow, right? Yeah, Muhammad yeah I think... could never ever lie, right? Muhammad could never <laughs> ever steal... From what Ignostin writing, right? He, he never stole any legend story. <laughs> yeah, and he put different words into Jesus' mouth as well. Yeah. So in the Gnostic and the Apocryphal text, he yeah, says, exactly. from the cradle, he says, um, for I am the son of God. Yeah. And then Muhammad misheard it, misread it. It was a genuine mistake, I'm sure. Yeah. And by the time Muhammad had finished, it said, I'm just a prophet. <laughs> Oh, I, I, it's easy. I'm only I'm, a warner. I'm only a warner. Don't attack. Yeah, I'm no only a warner. Yeah, no signs of miracles. Yeah. yeah, but maybe it sounds the same in Arabic. I don't. I don't know. No, no. Chapter fourteen, sister. <laughs> Look, chapter fourteen, ayah four. You know, I, 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 I love it when Muslims say Muhammad did many miracles. No, no. Look your Quran, chapter fourteen, ayah four, he and we sent really every you know with the same language as of his people, right? Yeah. It, Muhammad was only sent, people. only sent to the Arabs. Muhammad yeah. had no no any miracles we refrain right the quran is saying what was mm. the ayah again i think 
What was it again? Help there's me out. Lots of them, there's lots of them that say yes. he is chapter nothing 17? but order. I, I forgot the uh, chapter name. Chapter. Can I just make a point while yeah, you're looking? Yeah, go ahead, for it? sister. Yeah, I'll, so the I'll try Quran to look it up. The Quran itself um, says that Muhammad is nothing but a warner, yeah. and they will ask him, "Why don't you bring a sign?" And basically, um, he is to say to them, yeah. uh, "We already did all those signs." Like basically, in the Bible is my uh, interpretation. We already did yeah. it. Don't wait for that. He's just a warner, no miracles. But the Quran tells us that it is a miracle. Yeah. So if he can't bring a miracle because he is only a warner. How did he bring the miraculous Quran? So mm -hmm. either the Quran is wrong about Muhammad or Muhammad is wrong about the Quran. Yeah. Like, yeah this is chapter yeah. 17, sister. Surah Al-Isra, chapter 50. Oh, sorry, chapter 70, ayah 59. And we remained constrained from sending such signs. Do you see it? So yeah, no it signs, no signs or, right? No miracles were given to Muhammad. Not That's at it. all. And the Quran is a miracle, as we all know. Yeah. So how the Quran given to Muhammad? But Muhammad will bring no miracle, yeah. so the Quran can't be a miracle. But the Quran itself tells us it is a miracle brought by a man who will not bring a miracle. Mm -hmm. So it just goes around in circles. Like he either, you know, it's either he's only a warner and he brings no miracle except the Quran, but it doesn't say so. It just says no miracles, yeah. end of story, yeah. wash your hands, bye-bye. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So even his own book is against him. Yeah, yeah, I don't understand. You see, I I try to look up from uh, different uh, translations. All of them say, "Allah stopped sending signs." Allah stopped sending signs. Yeah. Chapter seventy, ayah fifty-nine. Yeah, yeah there's. I think it's about fifteen, or it's more. It's a lot of times in the Quran that it says he is now but a warner. He is only a warner. Yeah. Oh, Muhammad, tell them you're only a warner because I think he was getting a bit embarrassed, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Because he uh, doesn't have any, he's not part in the Red Sea. Yeah. He's not bringing dead people to life. He's not uh, making clay birds. He's just um, running around. Wow, yeah, even, even, even Muhammad. He's just life. Yeah, yeah. If, even in the hadith, if you go to Sahih hadith, this donkey, let me block him. He keeps calling me. Don't you understand that I'm in the middle of a call? Why are you calling when I'm in the middle of a call? You have to be a truly idiot. Sorry, guys, and I'm not trying to insult any real idiot. <laughs> how do how don't you understand that when I'm middle in a call? That, do you think I can take two calls at the same time? You know, you must be really smart, Abdul. Anyway, uh, so even in the hadith, Muhammad says, even in the Sahih hadith, Muhammad says, Moses, people like Moses, the prophets were given signs, we were given miracles, but what I got, but what I received was divine revelation, and that's it, right? That's it. Muhammad was the, not giving any signs. Muhammad was not giving is, any miracles. The End thing is, as well, from an Islamic point of view, all of the major prophets, at least, they all came with their their own book. Yeah. But Muhammad was uh, around for 20-something years, yeah. and he didn't have a book yet. So he's got no miracles. He's just a warner. Nothing. But the yeah. things that he's warning him, you know, he's using little bits of the Old Testament. He's using a bit of Moses, a bit of, you know, the Gnostic book. Like, it's just... It's mm. like, you know, a publishing house when they have to, they've got a deadline, they have to publish the book that day. They have to show he's a prophet with a book and yeah. uh, they just, it's like they just grabbed um, lots of things exactly, and yeah. just uh, put them together. And that's why it doesn't make sense even in Arabic. Yeah. And also in the order that it comes, yeah. it's like uh, jumping around, you yeah. know. Uh, sister, you, you're, maybe sometimes it's good that you can introduce yourself for the people who don't okay. know you. Uh, our dear sister, uh, she's always on Speaker's Corner in London. She is a warrior. For me, she is one of the warriors like our sister Hatun that I spoke to uh, yesterday. I called our dear sister Hatun on her live show. It was an amazing call. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed it. Yeah, no problem, sis. No, I, I mean, uh, <laughs> there are so many YouTube channels that are doing an amazing job. But our sister yeah. Kay, make sure to subscribe to her YouTube channel too. She's doing an amazing job with another new brother. I think his name is Ben, right? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. once and yeah. once. I, mainly I'm by myself because yeah. then I can really... Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I can help her out, guys. Make her channel grow too. She is a warrior. In my eyes, she's one of the warriors who go there and debate Muslims, right? So oh, keep much. her in your prayers too. Keep our admins in your prayers. Keep everyone who is doing the Lord's work in your prayers. Keep supporting us, guys. We need you. Don't forget what we do.
Yeah, what I would say is even though I'm sure we all know how much fun it is to argue with people because they're starting from a disadvantage. So sometimes mm. it feels a little bit like a uh, cruel or something because I don't know if I was a Muslim, I would try my very best, but there are some things I must be embarrassed about or ashamed about, or, you know, like the, if Muhammad is the best example, <laughs> why is Jesus a better example? Why exactly. did he have no sex slaves, no yeah, child exactly. brides, no yeah. stealing, no caravan raiding, you know, all of that. But even with that, so it's fun to like yeah. debate, but I think sometimes I, I lose sight of the fact that the only reason I'm trying to uh, tear down the false arguments and mm -hmm. the lofty opinions is because the Bible tells me to, but the Bible then comes with the gospel. So if I'm only arguing and I, you know, and I don't get a chance to tell them about the real Jesus, not Esau, and the sacrifice that he made mm -hmm. and the glory and the victory that he had on this day, Amen. then I'm just doing half of the yeah. job. Yeah, but, exactly. Because the, the Islamic Isa, right? There's nothing oh. called, we Christians in the Middle East, the Arabic speak Christians, we don't know who Isa is. We, ne we never use the, the, the word Isa. His name in Arabic is Yeshua al-Masih that comes directly from Joshua or Yeshua in Arabic. Yeah, I was reading it. I've got so an who's Arabic Isa? Who is Isa? And right? I saw it. Yeah. But my friend who's in the Middle East and he is Arabic, he's yeah. on a server that you're on as well. I asked him to look at 1 Thessalonians. I had my Arabic and English Bible and he had his Arabic. Yeah. And he found that the Bible that he has is just a, it's not a forgery, but they made, it's a modern book and mm. they put the word Isa to yeah. cover the word Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. You see? I think it's terrible. You see, you see, guys? You see? But yeah, so let me tell you also one thing again, guys. Uh, our sister Kay, uh, we had a conversation yesterday on Skype. Uh, Lord willing, we will do a couple of videos together. So there are going to be really interesting times coming up. So pray for us, guys. Pray for us. Keep us in your prayers. And we will have a lot of amazing videos to destroy really Islam looking. more than that. More than we are doing yeah. now. Exactly. Well, I don't know if it's possible, but there's there are, there's just, it's an, like the gift that doesn't ever stop giving because there's so many hadith, so many tafsir, yeah. so many scholars, so many imams, so many sects of Islam, so many Qurans. <laughs> there's just so many, so much of everything that if it's something like I and you both enjoy doing, like tearing it apart, yeah. then it's never ending. Every day is a new hadith, a new crazy story well, it, keep, you, it keeps us going right sister this is, yeah but it keeps going forever like it's just how many times can you like even just sometimes one sentence yeah. and i could take one hour just picking it to pieces yeah. like uh how can this be true and that be true and how well, come what about this and that you know like it's just it goes on and on well what, what's what should christian prince and i say i mean i'm doing this for 15 years and i'm still not bored <laughs> Exactly. This is what I'm saying. It's like, a, like a children at Christmas. That is every day. Exactly. Exactly. Well, thank you, sister. I appreciate your call. Uh, oh, I can see something playing on my device. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Even if we're in lockdown, we're still doing damage to this man-made exactly. evil death cult. Right. The thing is that even though even people who are by themselves, yeah. like it. it <laughs> The thing is that it seems sometimes it seems um, daunting because there's like w more than one billion uh, Muslims, but we must remember that there's more than two billion Christians. It's yeah. not a numbers game because God knows who, you know, who is who is saved, and He knows who will be saved, and maybe that's a lot of Muslims. So we yeah. have to keep trying and trying exactly. to take away the good news they think they have and give yeah. them the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, sister. Thank you for calling. God bless you. Thank you so uh, much. Keep right. doing what you're doing. You're always doing an amazing job. I, I, I really uh, watch your videos to, just for your information. Oh, you. I follow your videos too. I try to follow uh, our dear sister Hatun's videos, uh, yes. Jay Smith, many, many warriors, right? And Maybe one day we can all of us do a show together. Amen. That would be good. Yeah. Amen. All right. God bless all the viewers Hopefully. and everybody in the chat and stuff. Thank you, sister. God bless all you. All right. Too. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Thank you. Stay safe. Bye bye. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Another amazing call. Thank you so much, Sister K. Uh, Phil, Phil, do you want me to call you back, bro? I tried to call you and I saw that you uh, called me. I had a missed call. Let me let me call you back, maybe. 
I'm not sure. Maybe you, you called me by mistake. Maybe you actually wanted to call me. Was it, you, did you call me by mistake, brother? Brother Phil? Maybe he called me by mistake. Well, let me call this gentleman back. I think it's brother Jacob from Speaker's Corner. The God of None. I'm calling. Oh. Hello, welcome. You're live on air, brother. Oh, Rob Christian. Hey, dear brother, how are you? Jesus I'm is risen, it. my friend. I know, I know. Happy Easter. Can you hear me? Yes, you're loud and clear. Go ahead. You're live on air, brother. Okay, now, um, I want to piggyback off something the previous caller said. Yes, um, they ahead. say that um, the Quran is a miracle, but when you think about it, that makes no sense because if the Quran is uncreated, that means how can it be a miracle? You see, because if, if, if it's not created by Allah, yeah. that means it can't be a miracle because miracles are created by Allah. So how can something uncreated be a miracle? Because if it's a miracle and uncreated at the same time, that makes no sense because a miracle is an action. Exactly. Uncreated, uncreated is a something that had no action. It's mm -hmm. just always there. So they cannot say so that dismisses um that claim about the Quran being a miracle. But that's not the um main reason why I'm calling you now. Um if you could, Rob Christian, since this is Easter and it's all about the resurrection and yes, eternal I wanna I wanna ask a question that's in line with um today's topic. Sure, go uh, ahead. If, if you could, could you go to Sunnah.com and pull up this certain hadith? What does um, this, what does it say, the hadith? Maybe the, so that um, it's easy okay. for me to look it up. You have a little bit of typing. Um, it says the prophet said paradise and the fire argue. So if you type that in the um, the little yes, let's see if I can find it. The prophet <clears throat> said paradise and fire argued. Yes, I think I found it. Just a second, Sahih Bukhari. Let me put it up for our friends. I think this is the right hadith. Let me go down to show them the reference. Volume 6, Book 60, Hadith number 373. Go ahead, my friend. Okay, if you read it, um, Brother um, brother Christian. Yes, brother yes Christian, no. it's, it says, it's, uh, narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet said, Paradise and the fire, i.e. hell, hellfire, argued. Wait, how can paradise and hellfire argue? Anyway, and the fire said, I have been given the privilege of receiving the arrogant and the tyrants. That's what Jahannam, that's what the fire is saying. Paradise said, what is the matter with me? Why do only the weak and the humble among the people enter me? Do you want to co uh, comment on that, bro? Okay, this is the part that highlighted to me. Now, which part, which have, part? Okay, the part that highlighted to me was when Paradise said, what is the matter with me? So as soon as I seen that, two yes. things stood out to me. Number one, this Hadith has Paradise and the Hellfire as a Person. conscious being. Yeah, conscious being, exactly. Look at now, this comedy, look at this comedy show, guys. Now, the, the, <laughs> the, the second thing is, yeah. the second thing is, if Paradise is supposed to be the place yeah. where you don't have no more worries, no more stress, yeah. then why is the paradise saying, what is the matter with me? Yeah. But this is the same paradise that Muslims are supposed to go into for eternal pleasure of no worry and no stress. Yeah. But the paradise itself it's is struggling. Sick. It's struggling. <laughs> yeah, he has problems on his mind. Yeah. He has work on his mind he's saying what is the matter with me bro shall so, we shall we call a psychiatrist psychiatrist for for this paradise maybe we need to call a doctor to help this poor paradise out with with its problems what do you think with what's wrong okay. with you yeah what's wrong with me now this <laughs> paradise if you read it says the the second part of the hadith says yeah. on that allah said to paradise you are my mercy when he used the word my yeah. That is a possessive. That's a possessive uh, word. It's saying my. That's a possessive uh, noun. Yes. He's saying my mercy. So therefore, 
he is claiming that this paradise is his attribute. Yes. So the very fact that Allah's attribute is it's struggling, is questioning itself. That means Allah himself is questioning himself. Exactly. Allah, Allah wow, himself. did you catch it, guys? My friend, can you just repeat that part? Because maybe some people didn't catch what you said. Please repeat. Guys, oh, listen carefully. Else? Listen to what our brother is saying carefully. Take listen. notes. Okay. If you read, it says, Paradise said, What is the matter with me? Why do only the weak and humble among the people answer me? It's like he was jealous of hell for getting arrogant people. Okay? Now, when it says, and then when um, Allah responded to his questioning, Allah told him, on that Allah said to paradise, you are my mercy, which I bestow on whoever I wish of my servants. Exactly. So Allah is correcting his attribute. Exactly. So why we say it's an attribute of Allah? Because he said, my, whenever he says my, that's something that he possessed. It must be and perfect, right? How can a perfect thing, exactly, how can a perfect thing like paradise, how can it saying, what's wrong with me? What's the matter with me? I mean, Allah is the owner of this so-called perfect paradise. Well, where man is going to have a lot of big breasted huris, right? Day right. in, day out, you, you have eternal erection. You're going, doing a lot of boom, boom with the uh, big, uh, mel uh -huh. Big melons, uh, mass, you know, weapons of mass destruction. How is this paradise struggling while Allah is the one who says, this is my mercy, right? So here, Allah himself is struggling because if his perfect uh, paradise is struggling, that means Allah is the one who is struggling too. Right, right. And, exactly. and, and another thing that is highlighted to me is the fact that if this mar if this paradise is a conscious being, yeah. that means this conscious being will be basically spirit possessed. Yeah. Because when spirits of the dead, when spirits of the dead go to paradise, that means they are entering a conscious being. Yeah, a conscious being that has worry inside of it. It's exactly. like if somebody like every human has problems and stress and things on their mind. Yeah. So it's saying that. Take yourself, for instance. Yeah. We know that we're not perfect. So if dead people, consciousness merged with us and we got stress and questions on our mind, that's the same thing that this hadith is saying. That means that dead Muslims are entering a place which is not perfect. Yeah. And, and another main point is, okay, Muslims are left in a dilemma. In a dilemma. Did, um, did Allah create this paradise? Because if he created it, if they try to say he created it and it's not his attribute, then they are proving that Allah is not the best of creators because the best of creators would create his paradise perfect to the point it wouldn't have no questions. Yeah. And then the other <laughs> side, the oh, other yes. side of the the other side of the dilemma is since this paradise is a conscious being, that means that the hadith that says that every time a Muslim is born. An angel is sent yeah. to write down the decree of the um person, like all of their actions that they will do in their life. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, Allah is not requiring that his decree is written upon every conscious being. Exactly. Because when you read exactly. further down into um the uh hadith, it says Allah said to paradise, you are my mercy, which I bestow on whoever I wish of my servants. Then when you read yeah. further down, yeah. it says, and each of you will have its fill. As for the fire, it will not be filled till Allah puts, put his foot over it. Yeah. And um, as regards paradise, Allah will create a new creation to fill it with. So this proves by him having to add things. That means he didn't write a decree yeah. for this paradise, which means this paradise is uncreated. Exactly, yeah. They try to say that it is created and try to dismiss that um, it's not one of his attributes. Yeah. Well, exactly. he is writing, he is telling them right now the decree. He didn't do that beforehand because yeah. if he did it beforehand, they wouldn't be questioning 
them themselves in the beginning. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I, can I can I add about since we are talking up about paradise, if it's okay with you, my friend? So it's it's yeah. uh, um, according according to our Bible, God loved the world. And since we are, you know, the topic is the resurrection. Let let us try not to go too much off topic. You know, just for the sake of the topic. Um, yeah. Since we're talking about Jesus uh, and coming into the world, die on the cross for our sake so we can be saved. So we can, we don't have to die for eternity in our sins, in our flesh. Muslims <coughs> always attack and say, you know, God sacrificed himself or God the Father sacrificed his son. He killed his son. But if we go to the Quran, the Quran says no one can bear the burden of anyone so you as a muslim cannot bear the burdens of another muslim or another christian or another jew but if we go to the hadith my friend it says that allah will take the sins of the muslims and he will put the sins of the muslims on the jews and the christians what is what do you think what do you think about this very important contradiction what's what's what your point of view about it what my point of view is, Rob Christian, because and I'm happy you said that because yeah, I was on a um, I did a debate yesterday with um, you ever heard of Kenny Bomer? Yeah, that oh, that yeah. joker. Yeah, yeah, I, I destroyed him. Um, <laughs> him and his other who, does, guy who didn't, who didn't already, right? Exactly. And, yeah. and if the people in the chat want to go to my channel, you can see the um, the debate between me. But anyway, yeah, okay. Even the black when when Muslims try to um jump on christianity and say like why did um god have to send a mm. risen a savior to die for the sins of man and all of that you can say the same thing about their religion because yeah. islam it, it mimics everything that we do and i'm gonna tell you why yeah how christian how christians have to believe in jesus being the son of god to receive salvation mm. muslims their religion is also contingent upon the birth of muhammad because yeah. you cannot be a Muslim without saying Muhammad's name in the Shahada. You have to believe that he is the final messenger, just like we have to believe that Jesus yeah. is the, uh, the savior. And yeah. also, you have to obey Muhammad to get to, to Allah, because the Quran says that you have to obey um, Allah and his messenger. Just like Jesus says that exactly. no man comes to the Father but by me. Yeah. And and in Islam, their version of the Savior who was sent to redeem man of their sins yeah. is the black stone. We have a, a, a God in the flesh. Allah sent them a stone from paradise that used to be whiter than milk. Exactly. So Jesus who raised all sins, the black stone that sits in the corner of the Kaaba, that's their Savior that they have to go rob. Yeah. Them not only sin. the black stone, not only the black stones, also the Yemeni corner. So you have basically two corners of the Kaaba that can forgive sins, right? Let me, by the way, bro, since we brought up the Hadith, let me read the Hadith and show everybody how Muhammad himself contradicted his own Quran. Abu Burda reported Allah's Messenger. This is Sahih Muslim, authentic, Sahih, Sahih, right? Abu Burda reported Allah's Messenger saying, so Muhammad is the one talking. There would come people amongst the Muslims on the day of resurrection with as heavy sins, look, very heavy sins as mountains. So the Muslims with their heavy sins as <laughs> mountain and Allah will forgive them and he would place, what would Allah do? Allah would forgive the Muslims and he would place in their stead the Jews and the Christians. Now Muslims, you hypocrites, when you right. attack the Bible and when you say God the Father sent his only son <laughs> To die so basically you you know they they change and they corrupt the message that's not what the bible says but anyway they say you know god killed himself no according to your quran you're attacking and you're saying that no one can bear the sins but what you according to your muhammad according to your your prophet saying allah would forgive those muslims and he will place their sins on the jews and the christians do you see it you hypocrites shame on you and Rob, I have a question too. Just something that, you know. Let me give the want... link. Let me first give the link to the audience. Let me give it to the chat. Go ahead, my friend. Go ahead. Yeah, it's just something I want to put out in the app. Can you put that um, the hard deep up about 
the black stone when it used to be whiter than milk? Sure. Just a second. I just, just want to put some out in the air for for the Muslims to, um, you know, yeah, you know, just reason with. And I hope that who that dude that always call in. I hope that um that ultimate truth dude is um listening. Yeah. Because I want him to answer the question: How is your paradise disgruntled within, but yet paradise is a perfect place to go? Yeah. Answer that um um Islam truth. Answer us that. Yeah, well, uh, ultimate shirk for uh, just uh, uh, FYE, yeah, ultimate shirk, FYE, this guy, uh, oh, sorry, FYI, this guy does not accept any hadith. He's a Rashad Khalifa, he's a follower of a cult, and Rashad Khalifa, his master who died in the 90s, who basically in a nutshell, this guy was stabbed to death inside a mosque for being a fake Muslim. <laughs> so he's a follower of Rashad Khalifa, and he rejects any hadith, he rejects any tafsir. He has his own version of Islam, my friend. This same ultimate shirk guy. So, you know, he, he won't accept any hadith, even if it's from the authentic six books. It, here's the, uh, the hadith for you, my friend, just to go back to the topic. Ibn Abbas narrated, the messenger of Allah said, the black stone descended from the paradise and it was more white than milk. Then it was blackened by the sins of the children of Adam. Do you see it, guys? It's in front of you. That's the hadith that you mentioned, bro. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Now, now I want to elaborate on it. Yeah. Notice it said the black stone descended. Yeah. It wasn't sent by Allah. It didn't say Allah sent it. It say it descended. Yes. That means it's operating on its own authority and power. Now, the second thing is the, the black stone it has consciousness. Yes. How do we know it has consciousness? Because it will remember everybody who touched it. And on Judgment Day, it's supposed to uh, give a testimony on everybody who venerated it. Okay? Now, this is the question or basically a point of contemplation for everybody listening. Yeah. All right. Well, Christian, since this black stone has consciousness, just like me and you have consciousness, and we are all beings... Who will judge the black stone? Is the black stone itself above judgment day? Because it has consciousness. So yeah. therefore, if it is not being judged on judgment day, that means it is also a God. Yes. If, if it's not going to be standing before God to be judged. Bro, bro, it, wait, that's not the only thing. The, the, uh, even the black stone will take on a shape as of, of a man and it will speak and it will intercede for the Muslims. Yes. That's wow. even more into it. So that means wow. the black stone is a God. Any, is, am I right, Rob Christian? Anything that is yeah. not going to be judged by God Almighty, that means it's not in the same jurisdiction of, of having to follow the rules of God like everybody else. It's above, it's a goody two shoe. Yes. You remember in school we used to say you're Miss Goody Two Shoe? That's what the black stone is. Yeah. It's a teacher's pet. So it's, it's in, in a way, it is like the son of Allah. Exactly. God. But did, Allah, didn't Allah say in chapter 21, uh, you know, if, if he actually, if he, if, he, if he wants to have children or a kid, he, uh, you know, he, he, he will take it from ourselves. Remember chapter 21? And, and the Holy Spirit just showed me something else, Rob Krishna. <laughs> Since he descended from paradise yeah. and it has consciousness yeah. of his own, and paradise has consciousness of its own. That is a trinity. That's yeah. two. That's two living in one. You yeah. got a consciousness of a black stone living within a consciousness of a paradise. Exactly. So this this stone was it descended on its own, and it's not going to be judged. It's above everybody else. And another attribute that makes this stone like um. Like um, Allah himself, they say that Allah has no gender. He's neither male nor female. So yeah. I'm going to ask you, Ultimate Shirt, what is the gender of this conscious being, Black Stone? <laughs> Boom! Yeah. Boom. Bro, he will what say, I don't accept hadith. So, you know, he's, he's a different kind of breed of Muslim. So the guy is a waste of time. I, this, is why, this is why we should not, uh, you know, waste our time with, with uh, Ultimate... Uh, <clears throat> Ultimate truth, guy. Oh, and one, one more thing I want to say. Um, 
you was put earlier. You was talking about um, mm. you did a good job when that Muslim called in and you was and you referred to him that scripture about um, John, yeah. and it was exactly like this verse for Jesus, and he got off the phone because when you started to pressure No, no, him I actually, actually, I, you know, I stopped the call because if you're okay. going to call, if you're going to call me and I'm asking you a question and you're not going to answer my question, then there is no need for you to continue my conversation with you. If you are going to call, you need to be prepared because I'm going to uh, ask you a question and you need to answer my question. You don't want to answer? then don't call me. End of story, right? I'm not going to allow you to tap dance around the question. No, you're going to call. Make sure that you're going to be asked questions. You don't want to answer, then it's over for you. That's what happened. And, and Rob yeah. Chris, I wanted to read, and before I get off, I wanted to read a verse that goes along with what you're saying that yeah. proves that Jesus died. If you go to Sora, uh, and I'm reading from Chapter 3, I have 55, my friend. That's not, not that one. Not, not that, that one. one. Okay. Sora, Sora 5, 1, 17. And I'm reading from the Shakir translation. Which one? Four? And, chapter four? And then? No, chapter five. Oh, four five. five, Ayah 117. And I'm reading from the Shakir translation. Yeah, 117. Let me go there. Shakir. Yes. The Shakir translation. I know. I know why you're asking that. Just a second. Chapter five, Ayah 117. Let us go to Shakir. And Shakir is actually very close. The closest translation. Because... Yeah. It's, uh, it's talking about tawafaytani, falamma tawafaytani, right? Jesus saying, go ahead. All right, this is what it said. Everybody listen. I did not say to them, ought save what thou didst enjoin me with, that serve Allah, my Lord and your Lord. And I was a witness of them as long as I was among them. But when thou didst cause me to die. Bam! Thou over them and thou art witness witness of all things exactly he said it thou didst cause me to die so that is not a future tense reference that is a past tense exactly. thou did. when you say did that's something that passed that's something past tense that happened thou didst cause me to die yes and the, and the Arabic word is the Arabic words are falamma tawafaytini when you caused me to die I confirm as an Arabic speaker, guys, that Shakir, this is translation of Shakir, that Shakir, he forgot to do taqiyya. Shakir forgot to do taqiyya, and he's being honest here in his translation. Though, did cause me to die. That's the correct translation. Jesus, or there's nothing called Bro, Jesus, but Isa is saying, falamma, when you, Allah, when you, Allah, caused me to die. Falamma tawafaytani. Brother Rob, I'm gonna get off because I know other people are trying to call. I just wanted to make those points. I don't want to make this longer than I than I have. Take to. your time, bro. Take your time. This is amazing stuff. Go ahead. Okay, because when it comes to Islam, I like to get in, drop bombs, and leave. I, I just want to exhort the Christians to let them know you don't have to take bro, a lot this, of time. Those are not just jo those are not just bombs that you're throwing. Those are nuclear bombs, bro. Go easy on the Muslims, man. Exactly. <laughs> we are a power plant compared to them. They can't enter us yeah. without protection of Jesus. So. And another thing I want to say, all right, um, Muslims, and I, I got a um, a video on my channel about this. Mm -hmm. Muslims don't have a link to communicate with Allah because they say that Allah is not a spirit. Okay, everybody listen to, to this example. Yeah. The only reason why two-way radios can communicate with each other is because both radios have the same sender and transceiver the same receiver and transceiver inside of them. That's why two-way um, communication between two walkie-talkies is possible. Yeah. Now, yeah, and, and by the way, my friend, before you continue, sorry for interrupting you. Uh, our dear sister Vanessa mentioned this too on her call when she called me today. Uh, she also mentioned if Allah is not a spirit, that means he's he's a dead idol. He's dead. Right. Correct. You're correct. He's dead. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so so we have like. The Holy Spirit, that when, when, when you read a Bible and it says that God breathed into Adam, he breathed his spirit. That's what gives him life. And exactly. that's the connection. That's the link. Just like all of us are linked into this communication that's taking place right now, because we mm -hmm. all have compatible devices. Because exactly. Allah is not like anything, then you can't link into him because he has nothing that's compatible to your device for communication. Yeah. And communication 
is transmitted through frequencies. Yeah. And since the frequencies that we speak upon are within this world that we live in and, and Allah is outside of creation, that means how can he hear us? He can't even hear us because our words are on a frequency. You see? So he don't have no way to pick up what we are saying and we most definitely can't pick up what he is saying because we don't have nothing that's that's like him inside of us. And that makes no sense because even even they say aliens from other planets are even able to communicate with humans through through technology because because sound waves and frequencies exist in mm -hmm. our dimension and even um in outer space. So it just makes no sense like how they be explaining stuff. We have the Holy Spirit. They don't have the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Muhammad didn't have the Holy Spirit. And that's why... Brother, J Brother Jacob, uh, yeah. I, I, just a second. We have a Muslim who's saying wrong translation, donkey. He's, he's calling us donkeys. This is, look, look, he's calling us donkeys because we are using his own translation, the translation <laughs> of Shakir, and he's calling us donkeys. Imagine, as if right. Rob Christian... As if dear brother Jacob was on the call, as if we are the one who made this translation. Guys, imagine we are showing you the Quran in the Arabic. This is the Arabic. And the translation is saying a Muslim translator, not Rob Christian, not brother Jacob is on the phone right now. We didn't say and we didn't translate it. This is Quran website. This is one of the Quran websites. Though did cause me to die, Isa is saying. Am I doing the translation? Am I putting the Quran in Arabic in front of you? No. This is your nope. Quran. Deal with it. Falamma, sorry, falamma When you, when you, Isa is saying, cause me to die. When I, when someone asked me, guys, for for your information, FYI, my da my dad, my own dad died a couple of years ago. When someone asked me, asked me, where is your father? I will say, my father died. And when I have to say it in Arabic, I say, listen carefully. This is the, the verb. Abuya, guys, my dad, Abuya, my dad, tawaffa. Do you hear it? Abuya, my dad, tawaffa. What is the word? Falamma, Isa is saying, when you tawaffaytani. Do you hear it? Tawaffa, tawaffaytani. What is the word meaning? It's death, it's die. That's the, the meaning of it. You can tap dance, Abdul. You can say it's false translation. It's on you. You have to deal with it. The word is tawaffa. The word is tawaffaytani. We are not lying. We are only showing you the truth. You cannot handle the truth. It's on you. Deal with the truth. Yes, Rob Christian. Hey, it's good that you can speak Arabic. You and Christian Prince because I appreciate we need it, people like you guys because you actually know the language, which is yeah. a very good thing. And something else I wanted to um yeah, say. So, so just a second, bro. So you, Abdul, who are calling us donkeys, shame on you. Go learn Arabic, then come back and try to refute us. I'm an Arabic speaker. I speak Arabic every day, day in, day out. Are you going to try to teach me my Arabic? I just gave you an example. When someone asks me, where's your dad? I will say, Abuya Tawaffa, my dad died. Abuya Tawaffa. What is Isa saying? Falamma, when you, Allah, caused me to die. Tawaffaytani. Abuya Tawaffa, Tawaffa, Tawaffaytani. Tawaffa, Tawaffaytani. Did you hear it? You donkey, stop calling us liars. Shame on you. Stop using taqiyya. Your taqiyya is daif. Just go if you don't like our life show. You cannot handle the truth, boy. If Muhammad Hijab was here, he would say, you boy, you boy, you boy, you are the boy. You cannot handle the truth. Deal with the truth. Shame and, on you. And, and I want to complete that, that thought I was making about um, Muslims don't have a link. They don't have a spirit. How we know that that um, Muhammad was not being guided by yeah. any divine spirit? Because I'm going to give you a Bible verse. It says that we are not supposed to, it says, lean not upon thy own understanding. And in all thy ways, you know, abide in him okay this this bible verse proves that muhammad had no spirit in him and i'm gonna give an example to show what i'm saying yeah. muhammad like you were speaking about earlier was deceived by a false gabriel that's because he don't have a holy spirit in him yeah. to a to be able to detect 
what is of God and what is not of God, because just like the Bible verse was saying, he was leaning upon his own understanding. Yeah. So, so, so Muslims, you know, they, and, and something else I want to say to the Abdul, Abdul, I want you to answer us this question. When will you be able to experience your Allah? Because Allah can't come into his creation. So since this paradise that we were speaking about has a consciousness, so tell us, Abdul, is it a creation of Allah? Because if it is, he can't enter into his creation. Or, Abdul, is it a attribute of Allah? Because if you say it's an attribute of Allah, you have just proven to us that Allah has problems within his attribute. Yeah. His attribute has disgruntled and is complaining about why don't I get the arrogant and why do I only get the uh <laughs> the meek people to come into us? So either way you answer it, Abdul, you are busted. That's the dilemma the bro, dilemma that's, that you that's, that's a disaster in itself, bro. Yeah. I mean how many how many more drop bombs, how many nuclear bombs should we drop on Islam till Muslims in 2020 will handle the truth and leave this man made cult? Muslims, we don't hate you. Wake up, we don't hate you. We only want to show you what the Arabic says. We want to show you what the real sources are saying, not what your lying imams and ustaz are telling you day in, day out. My friend, to, to even make it even more uh, clear for them, you mentioned chapter 5, ayah 117. We showed that the word, the root word is tawaffa, tawaffa, translation of daryabadi. Not my translation, translation of daryabadi. Do you see it, guys? Take notes, take a screenshot guys, please. Take a snapshot. English translation, Darya Badi. So you, you won't say Rob Christian, you are lying. No, no, no. The word again, if qala Allahu, Ya Isa. So Allah is saying, Ya Isa, O oh Isa, right? O oh Isa, inni mutawafika. Again, the root word, what do you, what do you hear? Tawaffa, mutawafika, tawaffaitani. Same word, same verb, right? O oh, Isa, what is Allah saying? Allah said, O oh, Isa, verily, I shall make thee die. Bam! Deal with it, Bam. swallow it, Muslims. You cannot handle the truth, just go. We're not forcing you to stay. And, 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 and even more, like Christian Prince, you want me to drop another bomb? Okay, they say that this all Rob Allah, Christian, bro, Rob Christian, Rob Christian. What, what did I call you? Uh, you called me Christian Prince. Oh, because you know, I mean, y'all. <laughs> it's an honor, though. Me. It's an honor to be compared, bro. It's yeah, honor, I mean, an honor to be compared to my older brother, Christian Prince. I know, I know. But my name is Christian Christian Prince. No, my name is Rob Christian. <laughs> no problem, bro. I I'm only said it because, I mean, y'all got a lot of familiar yeah. ways. Everybody God bless you, bro. It. I appreciate it. I appreciate it that you're comparing me to our weapon of mass destruction, the one man army, Christian Prince. It's an honor. But, <laughs> one, one thing I want to say is yeah, yeah. just to drop another bomb on them. Yeah. Um, okay, if Allah, everybody listen to this, this gonna make sense. And I hope that Abdul is still on the phone. If Allah is uh, not bro, like, I think you scared them away, bro. There are not many. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if Allah is not like anything in creation, then why is the Quran calling Allah a he when he yeah. is a pronoun? that was created to be used for something that is in creation. When we say he yeah. or she, that's for something that's in creation. A he is a male pronoun. Exactly. So if your God, if your God is, not a did, is not a gender, then why are you lying to us and using and misusing the, our English language and saying it is a he when that word cannot apply to him. So that means since Allah is outside of creation and there is nothing like him, then no word that was created for a tangible universe can be applied to something yeah. that exists outside a tangible universe. So that means the Quran has fallen flat on his face because nothing you can say about Allah will work because he is not like anything and all words were used or yeah. created to Describe things within a created universe. Yeah. So the Quran does not say anything about Allah. Yeah. Nothing. So they they book is a waste of time. It don't say anything about Allah because he's outside of everything. So you Muslims, you got to come up with some words. 
that you can apply to something that's outside of creation. Because last time I checked, this dictionary that we use was yeah. created within creation. It wasn't created outside of time and space. And brother, Ra, I could go on and on and yeah, on. Bro, I, could, I, 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 no, no, I, I want to add, bro, before you go, I want to add on, yeah. on top of what you said. There's an ayah in the Quran that is talking about if Allah wanted to have a son, he needed first to take a sahiba. What is sahiba, brother? It's a girlfriend, right? So Allah needs a girlfriend. So clearly Allah is a he, right? He has a pee pee, right? He has a pee, <coughs> pee <coughs> penis. So he is a he. And if he wants a son, Allah needs to have sexual intercourse with his girlfriend, i.e. the sahiba. I think it's in chapter six. Let me get it. Maybe you want to collaborate on, on top of this ayah, bro. Yes, I'm before you, you go, up, yeah, let me look it up. I think it's chapter. When you, when you read the the, the um the tafsir on that verse, it says that you it means it? that Allah is saying he. When it says that he can take from, it says ourselves. When you say ourselves, no, that's a different a, ayah, bro. Chapter six, ayah one hundred one. If you can look it up too. Um, are you talking about the one that said he could take from ourselves? No, that's chapter twenty one. Uh, ayah 17. I'm talking about chapter 6, Ayah 101. Chapter 6, maybe if you have your Quran, you can read it too. Uh, I, will, I will read it. The Creator, chapter 6, Ayah 101, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, how should He have a son? Guys, pay attention. How should Allah have a son, seeing that He has no concert? So <laughs> Allah... If he wants to have a son, he needs a, a girlfriend. And the word is sahiba. It's not a concert, it's a girlfriend. When I say to my mother, Mom, ana andi sahiba, that means I have a girlfriend. Mom, ana andi sahiba. Sahiba means girlfriend. So Allah needs a girlfriend to have a son. Wow! So basically, basically, Muhammad is trying to copy the, the, the Injil, right? But he failed miserably. He thinks, you know, he thinks that God, God forbid, this is an insult for God. God forbid, Allah must have sex before he can have a son. Wow! Hey, that's amazing. Can you look up the one about the ourselves? Yes, that's chapter 21. Guys, I hope, let, let the people take a snapshot. Guys, take a snapshot. Use this. Benefit from this. Use this in your debates with Muslim. Take a snapshot. Chapter 6, I 101. Let me go to the one that our brother, sorry, that our brother wants to talk about. That's chapter 21, I 17. Go ahead, my friend. All right. I'm not looking at the screen right now. No, but go, I know read it. Read it. Which translation you want? Um... The one that says he he says that he would he could take from ourselves. That's uh, Arbery, chap. Okay. Arbery That's translation. True. Let me read it, bro. Had we desired, had we desired to take to us a diversion, we would have taken it to us from ourselves. The one million dollar question. When Allah says ourselves, when Allah, guys, pay attention. Are you with me? I hope you're with me. When Allah says ourselves. I, as Allah is saying, he has Allah number one, Allah number two. Allah number one is a male. Allah number two is a female. Is that what Allah right. is trying to say? Go ahead, bro. That's what I was about to say. When it says ourselves, okay, like if I said our community, that means that's partnership. Okay, our. Whenever I say our, that's partnership. If I say our community, that means I'm within the community with you, we all on the same level, nobody is above anybody else. So when you read the tafsir on that, yeah, all of we cannot associate anyone with Allah, right? That's what they say. Allah cannot yeah, be cannot be compared to anyone. But wait, right. Allah Allah is saying ourselves. What is Allah saying here? Who is the ourselves? How and can Allah compare himself with ourselves? The ourselves, guess who the ourselves is? Yeah. Stories from hell. <laughs> yeah. Here, Allah will take let, let us go to Tafsir, bro. You know, let us try to be fair. All right? Let us go to Tafsir Jalalain. What do you think? Shall we go to Al Tafsir? Yeah, Al Tafsir.com. Yep. Sure. Let us go there, guys. We don't want to put our own words. Our brother Jacob is not trying to put his own words. 
Let us go to the scholars of Islam. This is Tafsir Jalalain. Do you see it, guys? Chapter 21, same chapter, Ayah 17. Do you see it? Altafsir.com. This is not my website. This is Islamic website. This is the royal website of the kingdom of Jordan himself. Guys, the royal al Bayt, right? Royal al Bayt Institute of the Islamic Thought. It's Jordan. It's the Who owns this website? The king of Jordan, who is so-called a descendant of Muhammad himself. Let me click on display. Tafsir Jalalain. Do you see it, guys? Let me read it. Had we desired to find some diversion, that which provides diversion in the way of a partner, Allah is saying, or a child, we would have found it with ourselves. Now guys, pay attention to who ourselves is. Let us investigate. From among who? The <coughs> beautiful-eyed Huris. Uh oh Or Jibreel. So Muslims, are you saying, are your scholars saying that Allah will have either sex with Jibreel, Allah will have sex with Jibreel, or he will have sex with the big-breasted Huris. Wow! Ooh, and I'm telling you, they say he is not a corporal being, so how can he say this if he doesn't have a body? If he can't enter creation, then how else can you have sex without entering the body of a woman? Wow, this is too, one that, this is too much. Is, Bro, this is too much. So much, This man. is too much. <laughs> Allah, yes. Allah, this is too much. Allah. I mean, if you are not convinced, bro, are you not convinced to say, take your shahada? Come on, bro. It's, I mean, I like, I, <laughs> bro, I don't know what's making, I, I know what it's, it's, the devil. it's the devil that's making them not want to leave this cult, man, because there's no way. <sighs> and I was listening to what I'm saying and what you're saying right now. Yeah. I would be like, dang, it's no way they can. See, it's they are sticking to this because they are they not even in denial. They just got a demon, or God could have put a delusion over their mind. Yeah. God does say that when you when you hear this, the word and you keep rejecting it and rejecting it, that He'll put a delusion yeah. over your mind because He'll make you believe the lie because He gave you an opportunity and He says that His spirit is not going to forever keep striving with your spirit. Yeah. And um. Oh, and going back to that hadith. It says that Allah, this is the thing about Allah. Yeah. He said that he will fill paradise. He promised par paradise he would fill it. And he promised the hell that he would fill it. So that means Allah is just writing people into hell to be filled up. Bro, it's as if, if you know, I mean, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It sounds as if Allah created Jannah for his own sexual pleasure to have either sex with the big breasted Huris or Jibreel himself who is going to be his uh, <coughs> lap dog uh, or not, you know, sorry not or so he created Jannah for him for his own sexual desires Allah himself and for his prophet and for the Muslims who have no better job to do than the flower keep the flowering either Jibreel or the blue beautiful eyed Huris is that what Thank we you. are trying to to understand from this bro is that is that what Islam teaches that's crazy and thank you Holy Spirit he wow. just gave me something about Krishna yeah well, Christian, he just gave me something. You said Jabril, the Spirit of God just gave me something. Mm. Don't they say that Jabril is the Spirit of Allah, the Holy Spirit of Allah? Mm. Do Muslim don't don't Muslim say that? Hello. Yeah, I, I go ahead, bro. We are you're you're loud and clear. Everyone can hear you. No, I'm asking you that for just. Oh, sorry, my friend. Come again. Come again. Don't don't Muslim say that um Jabril is the Holy Spirit of Allah. Yes. Because I okay. Yeah, that's yeah. what they claim, but that's not that's not what Islam teaches, bro. Okay, that's what they claim. Yeah. Now, if they're gonna stick with that claim, yeah. guess what? They just got themselves busted. Because yeah. they say that Allah is not a gender. Yeah. Jibril is a male angel. Yeah. So how can the spirit of Allah, the Holy Spirit of Allah, Jibril, be a gender, but Allah is not a gender? <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, all, you know, the Muslims who say Allah has no gender, they're lying. Because the Quran clearly is saying in chapter, as we mentioned, chapter, uh, let me go there, chapter 6, Allah, if he wants to have a son, he will have a female partner. So Allah is a male for sure, bro. 
How dare you to call Allah uh, without a gender? Clearly, if Allah wants to have a son, should he have a female partner, a spouse? It, there's nothing called spouse, it's sahib, a girlfriend. So girlfriend, Allah for sure is a male, he has a pee, -pee and if he wants yes. a son, he will take a girlfriend. He has a foot. Let's let's mm. let's show him like. And, and Phil has... Herrera, look what Phil Herrera, you you naughty Phil Herrera, you admin you. He says Allah clearly got a pee pee uh, a, a penis. <laughs> right. He also has a foot. Phil he Herrera, has... you 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 you're you're a nasty Christian, bro. How dare you to say that about uh, Allah, man? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He has a foot. He has a shin. Now we've just discovered oh, he has oh, second part. And not only that, he came in a shape. And the Muslims saw him in one shape. Mm -hmm. And then they didn't like it. Then he came back in another shape. So this, the things that the Muslims tell us about Allah is not, is, is inconsistent. It's not in line with uh, what Allah tells us about himself, what the Hadith is saying. Mm -hmm. um, Muhammad said that the Dajjal, the, the difference between him and, and Christian Prince brought this up. Mm -hmm. That that the only difference is the the, the Dajjal will have one eye, so your your Allah has two <laughs> eyes, a shin, a foot. He's a man. He, he has, has he girl has two hands. hands. He has two right hands. He has two right hands. Bro, Allah looks funny. I mean, we should call Christian Prince. We know Christian Prince can make beautiful drawings. I mean, have you have you ever seen how how Christian Prince draws, paints Allah, bro? Allah looks weird. How can Allah walks around with two right hands? I mean, try try to picture yourself. Try to picture yourself with two right hands. Would you not and drop he, on the right side? I mean, that's and even if, and even if it was two funny. right hands, yeah. one of those hands would still have to be the left right hand. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like if we if you had two flagpoles hanging on the um the right side of the building, one of those flagpoles would still have to be the left side of the two flagpoles on the right side of the building mm. so two right hands and it's a, it's something in a hard deep order quran and it talk about the two east yeah have you are you familiar with that one yeah go ahead bro no it, it's something about the two uh, christian prince brought this up I, I listened to this about mm -hmm. a year and a half ago when i first started on um, listening to christian prince yeah. talking about the the two east the god of the two east something like that so mm. it's like yeah it's all over the place, man. But I'm, I'm going to end this phone call right here. I no mean, no problem. No. no problem. Maybe uh, before you go, bro, uh, do you want to uh, share something uh, with our audience? What do you want to say about this very blessed day uh, that Christ has risen? Do you want to share something before you go as a Christian? I, I, would, I would love to do that. Okay. Jesus dying on the cross for Muslims who always ask this question. Well, why would God have to die on the cross? I always tell people this. You know, you got atheists and people, uh, uh, secular humanists and things. They saying that I am God. OK, if you are God, then I want you to prove that you are God. So if someone told me that they was God, the number one proof would be if you can kill yourself before me yeah. and resurrect yourself, then I would believe that you are God. So that's exactly what Jesus did. Mm. He died. He said he laid down his life for our sins. He proved that he is God because only a God can have the power. God forbid anybody commit suicide. Once you Amen. do that, you can't bring yourself back to life. Yeah. Only a God, a man walking in the flesh, only a man, only a God can resurrect himself after laying his life down. That's exactly. the proof of God because the Bible says yeah, and that. And Jesus said it, right? I will, uh, you know, destroy this temple and I will raise it up in three days. And he was talking about his body. But then Muhammad 600 years later comes and uh, starts to say all kind of nonsense about it, right? Right, right. And, and Jesus dying on the, on the cross, that was an act of unconditional love. Because Amen, this, bro. Amen. This is what you got to understand. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Jesus he did. Just, yeah. He could have kept existing. For all eternity by himself. He had friends. He had a trinity. God the Father, God the Son, the Holy Spirit. Even the, the creation of the world, he didn't have to do it. He didn't have to come down. But he did it to show that he is God. Because no man in the world could have done ever it. Yep. did something that, that great. Amen. No man in the world has ever died for everybody. He did an unconditional act of love Amen. for everybody. That you could never repay him back for doing that. 
Amen, and on bro. Top of that, Amen. And on preach, that, brother, preach. <laughs> and on top of that, he's giving you a eternal, yeah. an eternal life. Amen. Two things that he didn't have to do. Yeah. But when you look at Islam, what did Allah do for an unconditional act? Allah doesn't say that he loved all of mankind. Amen. Oh, yeah, do our God, my do. friend, to add to what you say, sorry to interrupt you. No, no problem. Our God can, Allah cannot, and that's the end of it. Yeah, and, and your Allah, like Rob Christian was saying earlier, he only made you to worship him, and he even said that, Muhammad said in a hadith, that if mankind would not sin, guess what Allah would do? Yeah. He would wipe out all of mankind and replace them with people who would sin. Exactly. That's the devil. Yeah. That's something the devil would do. And that's what Allah has. has. So Muslims, so should you live a clean lifestyle and not sin or you should sin? It's yeah. a dilemma. Because if you if you live a clean lifestyle, yeah. you go to hell because Allah will wipe you out and replace you with somebody who would sin. Yeah. And if you sin, you won't get wiped out. So which one are you gonna do? Yeah. How are you gonna survive? I would. Hey, and, and what he's telling you is to sin. If you sin, he won't wipe you out and replace you with somebody who would sin because he needs. Yeah. All and he needs. he contradicted his own Quran by the, by saying that, right? Remember? Yo, show me. Yeah. Show so uh, because the Quran says no one can bear the sins of any, another man, but in the Hadith we can find that Muhammad is saying. Right, Muhammad is saying on the day of resurrection, Allah delivered to every Muslim, a Jew or a Christian, and say, This is your ransom from hellfire. Do you see it, guys? So, here the prophet of Islam is so smart that he can even contradict his own Allah in the Quran. Do you see it, guys? It's in front of you. This is Sahih Muslim, hadith number 432. Can you say that again, Rob? Because I can't. Man, see the it. messenger of Allah said, "On the day of resurrection, on the day of resurrection, Allah will deliver to every Muslim, a Jew or a Christian, and say, this is your ransom from hellfire.'" Wow. Yeah. See that? That's so, contradiction. So he's speaking on behalf of Allah. Do you see it, guys? So he and Muhammad is making Allah look like a fool. Allah in the Quran saying something, and in the Hadith. He's saying something else. Wow. Wow. I think, bro, I think he and Muhammad was under the black magic spell of Satan, delivering satanic verses and satanic hadith. What do you think? I think it was. And something came to my mind. <laughs> hey, Mr. Rob Christian, I got something, I got something else I want to bring up. Now, mm -hmm. you know, since we're on the topic of Easter and that's all in line with the Mother Mary giving birth to Jesus and everything. Mm -hmm. Now, just to reference check with you, because yeah. you're the average speaker. Um, don't they say that when Muhammad was born, that a light came shining out of his mother's, you know? Yeah, yeah. We don't know, we're giant. <laughs> so, yeah. So my question, Mr. Rob Christian, yeah. if Allah doesn't enter creation, yeah. what was this light that was shining forth from Allah's mother? Where was that coming from? Yeah. If and, she is a but human, wait, bro, before we go there. Is yeah. didn't Amina die as a mushrika? Didn't Amina die as someone who associate partners with Allah, which is unforgivable? And didn't Muhammad ask Allah to forgive his mother, but Allah didn't want to do it? Right. So how can a, 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 a light shine out of the fijj <clears throat> wow. of a pagan woman? That's deep. So that's, where that's was the, yeah, uh, Christian so priest will say that's deep, bro. That's deep. Is that Abdul still listening? What is the origin? <laughs> the preacher said she was a Mushrika king. I wasn't even thinking about that. Mushrika, part. Mushrika. For a woman, it's called Mushrika. A Mushrika, yeah. yeah a mushrika. I wasn't thinking about that part, but that makes it even worse. Yeah. She, she was a sinner on her way to hell. So where is this light coming from? Because y'all don't believe in a Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of somebody. So what light was shining from her? From a pagan. <laughs> What was that like, Muslim? What was that like? That Muslims was that don't think, bro. Muslims like. don't think. They only listen. They don't think, bro. They don't. Only the sincere ones, and that's a really tiny, 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 tiny percentage 
who are sincere with themselves, they do respect their own brains. And when they start to think and they start to question Islam, they will leave Islam. They can't say it was the light of Allah because they would have to say that Allah, the Noor, he put his light in a woman that went to hell and that light was in her body and shining from within. They say that light can be was seen all the way in Jerusalem. Yeah, oh, bro. God. Imagine you need you need to t put on shades, bro. Imagine what kind of light that has must be. I mean, the Chinese, the people in China, uh, they, sh they should be blinded, bro. That, it, it was a devastating beam of light, bro. What are you talking about? Didn't didn't your forefathers witness that that light? I mean, it was like is this, you know, is, it was like a, a rail gun or so. If you played Quake Arena in, in the, when you were you were a student or maybe uh, those shoot it shoot 'em ups, right? Uh, imagine what kind of beam of light this this beam of light was, right? Brother Rob Christian, I got a question. Yeah, was that beam of light reference that I gave? Do you know where that where that comes from exactly? Is that from a hadith or is it from like a Sira? Is it Sunni source I think or Shia? If, I, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. If I'm not mistaken, this is from the Sira. Do they do they agree with that? Do they accept that? Because because oh, they yeah, make yeah. I mean, bro, this is the earliest biography. This is the earliest source that you can go to. It's even older than the hadith. What are you talking about? Of course, this is the Sira, right? Is it coming from the Sunnis or the Shia, or do both groups believe that that the light was shining from them? That you know, uh, to be honest with you, uh, Shia is is, is 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 a bigger joke than 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 Sunni Islam because you know, since ninety percent of Islam are the Sunnis, I pay more attention, closer attention to what the Sunni Hadith say. So in Shia, you know, if you go to the Hadith of the Shia, you know, you you're going to laugh. Uh, it's it's more comedy than the Sunni hadith, right? So oh. I, if I'm not mistaken, this beam of light is described in the Sira, right? Sira by Ibn Ish Hisham Ibn Ishaq. And Phil, can I give and Phil he, he, uh, he's saying it's from the Sira. So I think he also posted the link Islam Web. Okay. I can Ooh. I think I can open the link. You know. Can I, can I make a request while you opening the link? Sure. Go ahead. Yes, I want to put in a personal request that you do a show on oh. the um, false translation so we'll know, like, because I was thinking, like, I hope Christian Prince or Rob Christian does a show where, because Why you guys not working. actually list as many verses that you can find that is different from what the Arabic said and, and the Hadith, so you can do a show and just show us the deception yeah. that the Muslims do, because I think that would be real beneficial. Because I know I've seen a few of them in the Sahih International. And if you could do a show like going into the background of like Sahih International and going into the background of these different um, Islamic translations and why yeah. each translation differs from the next. And if you can show us like what, give us a few examples of verses where it says. Yeah, but before we go there, bro, just, you know, because when we talk about stuff, we want to bring up sources and. I want to thank uh, our brother uh, and dear admin Phil Herrera for the link. It says islamweb.net in the English version. This is one of the number one websites that you can find. Basically one of the best websites that you go to can go to when it comes to Islamic sources. It says assalamu alaikum and non-Muslim is saying that it is reported in Ibn Hisham 166. This is the seerah, right? That when the Prophet وسلم, was born, light was coming out of the Fijayj of Amina, his mother. Also, what kind of respectful suffix should we add before the names of the parents of the Prophet? Yeah. So then, I think this is a answer from a Sheikh, a PhD Sheikh. All praise, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, right? Alhamdulillah. The Lord of the worlds, I testify, blah, 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 a lot of blah, blah, blah. Then we go down. It oh. says, Ibn ha among the signs of his prophecy that appeared at his birth, this is the talking about the birth of Muhammad, and after his birth was that at Tabarani narrated from blah, blah, and blah, blah, from his mother that she sent, she went to Amina, the mother of the prophet. Guys, pay attention. Amina, the mother of Muhammad, is a mushrika. She died as a pagan not as a muslim she died as a pagan and she related that when she amina 
was in labor. Guys, pay attention. And she related that when she, who, Amina, the mother of Muhammad, was in labor, i.e. giving birth, I was looking at the stars getting closer to me. Wow, what this is deep, bro. To the point that I thought they would fall on me. And when she gave birth, a light, a light come out of her that... <laughs> I know, we know it's the... <clears throat> <clears throat> you know between her so what and, yeah. so what is this like do you like what what could be the source of this light this is this is uh uh have you seen have you seen star wars bro uh, 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 the lightsaber i think that's that kind of light <laughs> it's 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 a weapon it's a weapon of mass destruction bro that is coming between her legs so that's because the, the way they describing it is okay mm -hmm. this is a religious text so the light, it has to be in reference to some type of divine light, but they don't believe in a Holy Spirit dwelling on the inside of people. So that's why it's kind of mind boggling. Like, why is a light shining forth from her that can be seen like yeah. the moonlight? Yeah. That, 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 <laughs> why? Uh, I mean, why didn't the Ro I mean, the Romans were very close. Why didn't they report? I mean, Romans used to report all kind of reports, right? Why didn't the Romans say, "Hey, uh, we saw a damaging light"? You're right. Why <laughs> only? Why only can we find this kind of uh, comedy shows in the Islamic source? A beam of light, brother. <laughs> but I know the answer. I know the answer. Allah knows best. That's Allah, what they say. Allah, Allah, Allah knows, Allah knows best. best. <laughs> bro, bro, I really have to go. Um, I am talking. To be honest with you. Maybe people who already heard me saying it before. I've been talking for at least five hours straight. Wow. I had a call before this live show, guys, with a Muslim, and he left Islam. For the people who just joined or maybe start to listen. we I had a call, and it was a blessing that this Muslim left Islam after two hours talking him to him. Two hours, and the guy left Islam. Then I did this live show. How long are we live, guys? I'm really, my, my, yeah, three hours. Wow. That's wow. five hours talking to the mic, bro. Wow. So, guys, bear with me. I'm really tired. Uh, All right, shalom, buddy. I'm, I'm about to be out on yeah. Rob Christian. Thank you for this you, call, man. brother. God bless you. Christ is risen. God bless you, too. Christ Signing is out. risen. Be with you. God be with you, my friend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, that was a, a long conversation. I know, guys, but when our brother Jacob calls, uh, you know, I, I tend to forget the time and... He always bring up many lovely sources to go through and to spank Islam and the Prophet of Islam. Guys, sorry, sorry, but you know, uh, my throat is gone. I really have to go. I, I really like to be with you. I like to be with you all night long, as Richie would have said. But, <laughs> but guys, you know, uh, five hours talking on the mic, you know, we have to also think about our uh, health. Guys, thank you so much for, su for supporting us. Don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't all by now, smash that like button, destroy it like it's possessed by jinns. Uh, I really can't thank you enough for your lovely support. You guys are amazing. We can't do this without you. Keep our admins in your prayers. Keep all the warriors in your prayers. Subscribe. Uh, support all the warriors guys yes we are replaceable but if God wants us to teach if God sent us to destroy this man-made cult then so be it we will do it as long as we can when we can thank you for watching guys Jesus is Lord Jesus is risen and indeed he's risen and no Muslim even if he's tap dancing even if he thinks he has the courage and the knowledge to refute it, you can't do it. It's an historical event. Even the biggest enemies of Christ reported this. Go to Josephus, go to Tacitus. What about the Christians? What about the hundreds of eyewitnesses? And we showed you that at least 500 people saw Jesus being alive, raised alive again. And Jesus said, destroy this temple and I will rebuilt it in three days guys thank you for watching god bless you jesus is lord
and Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet. May Jesus bless you, bless your loved ones. Thank you for watching and Lord willing, we will see each other in a future live show again. God bless.